All right. We should be live now. Hey, everybody. How How is everybody doing? We're playing more Yakuza today. Really hoping that uh, by the time that the go live thing pops up that I'm actually speaking uh, when the go live thing pops up this time. I've been trying to sync it the best I can for ages. Um, did it work this time? Did I do good? Did I did I do good this time? I tried really hard to get it to sync. It was it was a it was a whole thing. Um, no, oh, sorry, you have to hit the button again. Ah, shoot! Ah, dang it! Hey, you know what? If you've been following the streams for the past couple of days, guess who slept in again? On accident! I don't know what's going on with me. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Well, actually, no, I, I slightly know what I, I, what's going on with me. I I had, like, a little bit of a, an issue the other night, and I had, to, I had to stay up, like, two hours after I had took, like, some melatonin. So I was, like, fading fast, and I needed to go to sleep. Uh, and it, it was just not happening. I eventually did go to sleep, but I was suffering. I was like, ah, uh, uh. um, but yeah, hi, hi guys, uh, we're gonna just get back, right back into the game, but before we do, I have to obviously, you know, I have to do the thing, check out the fundraiser, <laughs> the fundraiser is in the description below, uh, with the first two top links in the description, we're trying to fund both of them, uh, we're trying to fund them to the minimums at the very least, and if we do, Look at this cool stuff that's happening! Uh, I actually have an update. I'm almost finished, uh, actually editing Spongebob in Tehran 2. Uh... I've, I've talked about it on other streams. There are parts of this video I hate. <laughs> because every time I've tried to do a test upload, the monetization doesn't like to work with me. So, yeah. If you want to know what might be in that video, it's a little bit rough around the edges. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we're very close to the Tetris streams, though, so that's good. And, uh, you know, coming up in February, I'm gonna also be pushing this in videos as well. Uh, oh, also, update! Videos are coming! They're coming back! Soon-ish! Uh, I'm planning stuff for February onward. Uh, January is a little bit rough, uh, for posting videos, so I figured I might as well just wait till February. So, yeah. Uh, check out the fundraisers in the description below. I'm gonna try to be a lot better at, uh, at, you know, showing that, uh, in the streams, because I've been kind of, I've, I've gotten very distracted as of recent. Um, but yeah. Oh, let me just, uh, throw out on the Discord that we're streaming. There we go. See, this time, the Discord thing is fine! I figured it out off stream! It works. All right. Anyway, back at. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Anyway, back at it. We're yakuzing the the zero today. So I, I was talking about this on the previous stream that I was doing, but I actually got really sad because I stopped playing Yakuza Zero at a point in which I could not do anything. Uh, like, I- I didn't stop at a good point where, like, there was, uh, what's it called? There- there was any side content to do, because I started playing as Majima, and Majima's in the middle of a story segment, so I couldn't do anything. So we're going to do story stuff today, so that off-stream, I could just play the dancing minigame, and feel really happy, and, and potentially maybe play the bowling minigame, and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, if you weren't around for the last stream, uh, we're playing as Majima now. Uh, he is, he's, he's quite the character. He's, he's the head of this, this cabaret. I don't really know much about him yet. Hey, got a minute? Ahem. Hmm? Ah, sir! Uh, sorry about that. Uh, what can I do for you? Can you call Kane for me? I need to talk to her. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course. 
What's this deal? Spacing out on the clock? Hi, sir. Nice work out there tonight. Uh, thanks, Kane. So, you wanted to talk to me? He said he was locking horns with Sakura... She, he said that she was locking horns with Sakuroko. Uh, Sa Saka... Sakurako. D dang, some of these words are gonna trip me up real bad. Like, some of the names especially, like... Oh, Sa Saku Sakurako. Sakurako. Uh, I think it's Sakurako. Trust me, dog, there's a lot of side content. I did some research on that, actually. And I heard that there is... Over a hundred sub stories That's a lot of side content not counting all of the mini games Yeah, where do I start uh, lay down the law butter her up. Uh, I'll butter her up Yeah, you're really smoking tonight, babe. Uh, I thought uh some new idol singer wandered in oh You that kind of flattery won't get anybody but paying customers anywhere, sir. Uh, that right. Uh, then I take it back. <laughs> Majima, no! What? So it was just flattery, huh? You wound me, boss. Aw, oh, come on. I, you know I can't tell a lie. Here, I'll buy you dinner sometime soon. You forgive me? Really? I love you, sir. Oh, this is idiotic. Time to get to the point. Uh, it's been about a month since you came on here, yeah? How's it going? Think you can make a real go of it at the Grand? Oh, uh, I think so. The hall's much bigger than the last club I worked at, so it was pretty daunting at first, but I'm totally used to it now. And more and more customers coming here specifically to see me. Yeah, that's great to hear. Not surprising from the number one gal of the oldest cabarets in the Kita area. I guess I was imagining things then. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, see, one month, one month marks actually. <laughs> the the one month marks actually when I see most girls get up and leave. I was a little worried you might be getting the itch too. Oh, I have no fear of that. I wouldn't dream of quitting now. That hag Sakuroko has been trying to play the seniority card on me, but I don't even notice her. Damn girl, hag. That's pretty serious. <laughs> <laughs> Maju was just like, dang, all of these lovely women hate each other. <laughs> that sucks. I love women. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. Sakuroko is a vet here. Uh, she looks after the other girls, too. Most love that about her. Try to get along, yeah? Ugh, I hate nosy types like that. And she's got the whole entourage, but whatever. Soon I'll have my own clique and I won't have to deal with them. Does she even realize she's getting lectured here? Dense as a door, this one. She's even giving me a little toot. Get more direct. Nah, I buttered. I tried to butter her up as much as I can. I gotta. I gotta put put my foot down. Better make it loud and clear for her. That ain't right, Kane. Kane, you gotta learn to read the room. Huh? Doesn't matter how good you are at your job or how popular you get. Keep snubbing your seniors like that, and wake, you'll wake up one day without nothing but enemies here. Fine by me! Not like I do this job to make friends with the other girls! Really? That the best you can do? I'm disappointed, but I doubt you'll be around here for long enough to make those enemies then. W wait what's that supposed to mean? Is there a problem with my work? Nailed it. She's the competitive type. But put her pride on the hook and she'll take the bait. Look, I ain't asking you to be friends with Sakuroko-chan. Uh, in fact, you two make better rivals. Rivals? Yeah, uh, but not the kind that shanks the other in the back. Compete. Push each other to get better. You'll bring up all the other girls with you. Right now, you're just tripping over each other, and that makes it harder for everybody around you to step up. Customers may love a girl like that, but I got no use for him here. The Grand needs girls who are popular with guys and the girls. Ah, it's one of those places. <laughs> the guys and the girls. Thing is, I know you could be that girl, Kane-chan. It's the only reason I'm coming down on you like this. You really think? I'm sorry, sir. I was acting like a spoiled brat. I'll work on being that girl, on being more considerate. Please give me the chance. 
There, see? You do get it. I knew you were a keeper, kid. And I hope you'll keep helping me improve when I need it. Wow, the, the, the whole staff at this cabaret is, gets along pretty well. I mean, like, Majima... <laughs> Majima's a, a fairly good boss. God, took, finally took long enough. And wait, what was that waiter's deal? Can't have him zoning out on me like that. Better go have a chat. I, I don't know much about cabarets, uh, but it seems like Majima overall is a pretty good boss. Okay, where, where am I going? I think I'm going to, oh, hey, it's that guy from the cutscene. Yeah, you better watch it, bub. Hold on, let me, uh, pause for a second. I'm gonna adjust the volume a little bit. I want it to be a bit louder. Everybody keeps saying Majima's best boy, but I've seen him in the, I think I've seen him in the later games. He, he's, he's like a menace. So I'm wondering what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think he went out here. The only reason I say that is because uh, there's, there's a pink door on the map, and that's usually like the... the oh, no. Maybe I have to go upstairs? Or wait, is that him right there? Man. Why the long face? I need to use the facilities? Ah, uh, uh, sir! Uh, no, I, uh... I got a letter from my little sister back home. Yeah? And what's the word? That my father's sick, unfortunately. The doc says he needs to be hospitalized, but the procedure, they want to do runs for 500,000 yen. But I ain't got that kind of cash. Sorry to hear it. You try asking the floor manager for an advance? Another emergency a while back already forced me to ask for one. I'm afraid if I ask again, I'll get canned, especially for so much. You're in the habit of breaking mirrors, kid? Here, I'll spot you. What? But, but sir, I, I, I can't. Don't sweat it. You can always replace money. Same can't be said about people. Once they're gone, that's it. Sir. <laughs> His face like, well, sir. <laughs> As I recall, you ain't been back home in a while, yeah? Take a few days off, too. Go visit your pops. Th thank you, sir. Wow, Majima's like a chill-ass dude. Only thing that matters right now is keeping this place running smooth. I'll throw as much money at it as I need to. Looks like that's... Look like that's it for my staff troubles. It's about time I checked on the uh, in on the hall. Um, sir, uh, there's a problem. Shit, what now? One of the customers is placing insane orders now that he knows he isn't paying for it. He went down the line of our top vintage wines to start, uh, then started on in on our best whiskeys and brandies. He's already racked up four million worth. Start at the priciest and worked your day what? It, it, pfft, yeah, you can tell that I, I slept in accidentally today. I'm completely thrown off. Start at the priciest and work your way down the list, huh? Real class acts out there come out in times like these. Indeed. I figured we should stop him, so... Where's he at? Show me. Right this way. I'm wondering who this fella is. Hey! <laughs> I will say Majima looks mad cool with that tux and the eye patch. That's Mr. Majima to you, sir. <laughs> ちょっと話があるのですが、ご足労願えませんでしょうか。なんだよ、人が気持ちよく飲んでんのに。お時間は取らせません。
Why do I get the feeling like Majima is about to kick the absolute shit out of this man? <clears throat> like, I have a bad feeling. I'll take care of him. You get back to work. Oh! No. Nah. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna say, this guy has large ears. Oh, okay, he knows him. Majima knows Sagawa. Sagawa, I believe his name is. <laughs> I like how even though Majima's ticked, he's still like, like, here's a hot towel. Yeah, and here's a light for your cigarette. Is he like, what, is he like Majima's parole officer? Turn to pickle in a profit. Oh, some things are happening. Fancy blackmail. We love to see it. Yeah, I think he is his parole officer, actually. This guy shrinks and grows on you throughout the game. I know you meant that like as in like I I I like and dislike him throughout the game but I thought that you meant that Sagawa like procedurally throughout the game will get smaller and then he will grow larger and I got really confused and I was like this game is insane <laughs> Majima, I've, I've turned myself into a two centimeter tall man, Majima. Help me. Help me, I'm super small. Oh, okay, so Majima has been in the Yakuza before. He's not in it currently, though. <laughs> Retainer of the chairman oh, was the Sagawa family. Ooh, okay. Big reveal. Mashima, it's uh, it's me, Sagawa. I'm part of the Yakuza. I turned myself two centimeters tall. <laughs> yeah, Mashima. Oh, oh, I wonder what I wonder what Majima did to get kicked out of the Yakuza. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Okay, so Majima got kicked out of the Yakuza for some reason. And this guy's basically his parole officer to make sure he's on the straight and narrow. And then they'll let him back in. After, after Majima gets them a bunch more money. But even though he's not a part of the Yakuza, they're still keeping an eye on him because he's kind of like, he's making a lot of money for the Yakuza. Now they don't want to even let him back in. But if he stops making the money, then they're probably going to hunt him down and kill him. Could you kill? It seems like Majima is in a little bit of a pickle right now. それがどないした。そいつ明日から別の店でやらせることにしたから。ブラ。即戦力が欲しくてさ、ノリコここの南部なんだろ。お扱いも聞かと思ってよ。What you're happy that Rajima is making like all the money for you guys. Why are you taking away like one of his like best workers? Am I to assume that the 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 Yakuza family that uh, Majima wants to join into is owns all of these cabaret clubs? I assume so. And then Majima's punishment for whatever happened is that he has to like work as the boss. Tell me about it. Okay, so Sagawa actually owns the place. Okay. So we gotta recruit Nozomi. Okay, so <clears throat>。You know, for somebody who really wants to get back into the Yakuza, it seems like he's really committed and devoted to this cabaret job. Like, not even in a way that, like, I need to do this cabaret job to get all this money so I can get back into the Yakuza. Like, he seems to really understand how the job works. I think that Majima needs to do a little bit of uh, self-thinking about what he wants for his life. Yeah, the family owns other cabaret clubs. That makes sense. Most Yakuza own several cabaret clubs. Odyssey's in Shuchifoko. Uh, time to play them a little visit. Go to Odyssey! One Piece! One Piece Odyssey! 
I gotta play that soon, actually. You there. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> what? You were the master of that alehouse, the Grand, yes? Ah, uh, yes, that's me. I knew it! Even the way you walk is refined. Guarded. You have no blind spot, despite appearances. I'm sorry, sir. Have we met? My name is Somataro Komeki, heir to a certain mo form of martial arts and its present master. Martial arts? Yes, but lately I felt my technique is slipping. My edge has been dulled, so I left the lights of Tokyo in order to train. Yet even here I find this age of excess, gluttons and fools, gorging on carnal pleasures. Nobody hungers anymore. Then I heard of talk called of a lounge called the Grand. They said it was home to a most interesting man. Pardon my asking, but have you visited our establishment? What kind of question is that? Guzzling booze with painted ladies hanging all over you? Bah! Wanton excess! Of course I haven't been. Well then why the hell am I doing a song and dance if I, you ain't any customer? Besides, what's a washed up martial artist want with me? That hungry air about you. It is far beyond the men that I have fought in recent years. Would you do me that honor? Which honor? What, you want me to fight you? Precisely! A deeper strength sleeps within you. I refuse to let it lie dormant and unused any longer. You okay upstairs, pal? <laughs> Fighting you don't earn me one skinny yen men's profit. Uh, I'm a busy guy. Hide your merchant's guys all you like. Hide behind your merchant's guys all you like. I know money isn't what feeds that hunger. Whatever honest life you make is, is a show of a living. And I can see the demon gnawing at you inside. There's only one way to appease a demon, son. Face the strong in combat and set loose those fighting instincts struggling to burst free. And you're telling me that you're the strong guy. <laughs> oh, as it happens, I am. Now, do you see a reason to face me? Not that it'll stay my hand either way. There's no talking sense into you, is there? Fine, you win. I was just thinking it had been a while since I really cut loose. Not here, though. Hmm, if you insist. This place should work. <laughs> You're awfully unhesitant in agreeing to this. I'm starting to think you keep the true extent of your strength hidden away. You must have your reasons. I know I have mine. But the fist is like the sword. Leave it in its sheath and it will rust. And you will not be able to draw it when it's needed. What say you? Ever feel an urge to shrug off your restraints and fight to your full extent of your abilities for a change? If you're offering, I'm game. I'm not too big on the idea of opening up a can of a... Opening up a can on a creaky guy like you, though. Oh, cast aside such worries. Even dulled, the edge left me in such... The edge left me in, in me such... Should prove sufficient to handle a pup like you. Show me everything you got. Oh, I like, I like how people showed up for the fight. The, the, these two women are like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, kill him, kill him, kill that bastard. Thug style incorporates a number of merciless attacks. Um, one of these is the eye poke attack. If you land the eye poke attack, the enemy will turn their back to you in pain. Show Komaki your thug style moves. Okay, so I do one, two, three. One, two, three. Whoops, fucked up. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. Dang it, I keep accidentally adding a third light punch. Pull off the essence of choking. One of the special moves of Thug Style is a heat action called the essence of choking. This heat action occur uh, triggers when an enemy attacks or you circle behind them. Show Komiki your Thug Style special move. There. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna bring him over here real quick. 
got to circle behind him. He's not letting me circle behind him. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Your training is not complete. Attack Komagi with everything you got. Jesus Christ. I, I like I like that Majima has all of his own animations. Ooh. The essence of fucking killing a man, I guess. Mm, glad to know I still have an eye for Talon. You will surpass me one day, I can promise you that. Hey, Gramps. Just what kind of life you've been living? One of unarmed combat, wagering my life on my own bare fist for the last few decades. Not that my opponents have always been so gracious. I face swords, firearms. And you think I'm gonna get stronger? Soldier. Much! Even now, I see there's a big change in you. I spar with you and regain strength I once had. You spar with me and regain strength you've never known. A mutual benefit for, a both. Uh, for us both, is it not? Uh. Yeah, I guess. I'll be walking about the city for a while. You shall see me again when the time comes. All right, I'll be waiting. Now, if there are no more weird old guys to interrupt me, I gotta go pluck Nozomi from the Odyssey roster. Odyssey's in Shofukocho. Shofukocho. I should head there, uh, but it wouldn't hurt to gather some intel first. I should take a lap, lap around town to see what kind of info I can dig up about the Club Odyssey. Okay, where the... Where the fuck do I go to get out of here? Oh, there we go. I don't think I've been in this area before. Oh, let, let, let's save right now. Hold on, can I access my item box that I had as uh, Kiryu? I cannot. I was gonna sell those plates. I was gonna sell those plates the moment that I got on stream because people kept telling me to sell them. Looks like I can until I get back to Kiryu. Okay, so... Oh, hey, fellas! Looking for a fight? Wait, can I, can I still run into Mr. Shakedown as Majima? Or is that only uh, for uh, for Kiryu? Goodbye. Oh, you can you can run into him with both. Am I gonna have to do a long, drawn-out cutscene with Majima when he meets Mr. Shakedown? I hope not. Oh, I can't go that way. Whoops. I forgot. There are limits to the map. Okay, so I need to find intel. Oh, there's a thing on the map. Okay, I'll just go to the thing on the map. Cut through here. No more, I can't. Oh, more more hoodlums. Goons? You fellas been gooning? And didn't invite me? Majima? Master of gooning? That's what you get. I have a five screen setup. I love me some Goonin. Can I pick stuff up? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Quick salty Goon! <laughs> no. I'm not gonna be Gooning on stream. Maybe we can make that into a donation goal. Okay, um, we're here. <laughs> Odyssey, 
This is the place. Ready to make the mag magic happen, Majima? Um... Hold on, should I, like, save? I'll just save down here really quick. Did I miss anything while I was coming over here? I probably did. Yeah, I'll just go in, whatever. I want to get back to the story so I can do cool stuff with Majima. No intel? Boo. Wh wh where's the intel? Where's the intel, chat? I don't want to... What do you mean? Where's the intel? Explore? But I, I want to... Oh, whatever. Oh my god. He's huge. Is that a Mr. Shakedown? Uh... <laughs> He's so big! He's so big! He's so large! What a pussy! Nah, I ain't no pussy! Come over here! Hey, you! With the eye patch! Eh? Give me your money! What? What are you trying to shake me down? Are you, are you some kind of Mr. Shakedown? Guess I'm getting too famous around here for my own good. Uh, you're famous? Uh, can I get your autograph? Uh, write my name on it, too. Uh, Naoka Kawashi, Kawashi. So you can brag to folks back home that you met someone famous that you've never heard of? Don't you laugh at me! You don't know who I am, either. Uh, my crew is 25,000 guys strong. Wait, there's 25,000 Mr. Shakedowns? 25,000 of these fuckers. Are you kidding me? So you better show some respect. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> but if it were true, your little gang would would rival the Tojo clan in size. I'm not buying it. I'm not lying. I got a real reputation back home. All right, if you say so. So why are you here on your own? Uh, the the other 24,999 guys run out of gas in the way. I'm a lone wolf. That's all. A lone wolf with 25,000 friends to comfort you when you get a little lonely? What's with all these questions? Well, I'm just here in town to have some fun. But I need cash for that, you know? What, you didn't bring any money? <laughs> well, what do you do when there's plenty of it here? So you're just a kid from the sticks who came to the city for a good time, and you're beating up folks for play money. You picked the wrong city slicker, though. Your little Sotenbori Grand Circle tour is over. You don't want to give me your money without a fight? That's fine by me. Mr. Shakedown. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Okay, doing pretty good than than what I did with my uh, uh did the first time. Okay, come at me. Oh, he backhanded me too. <laughs> oh shit. To be fair, I did- I did way better than I did the first time. Holy smokes, he's stupid strong! Thanks, loser! Huh? Damn it, I busted my ass to earn that money! Uh -huh. What do I care? If you want it back, you're welcome to come back and try the same thing on me. Now, where should I spend your hard-earned cash? Yeah, at a pachinko parlor? Or maybe I should treat myself to some sweet time with some sweet ass at the cabaret. Precious Moolah. I can't let this slide. I gotta beef up and get back to him with interest. Okay, so I got my ass beat and he stole all of my money. Very cool. Let's gather some intel now. Now that I've got my ass thoroughly handed to me, time to gather some intel. Maybe I should walk past the, the place? I think if Salty goes on a training arc, he might win. I think so, too. I, I think that's totally doable. I just need to upgrade a little bit. OK, 
Okay, let's see if I can find... What? Oh. Buckle up, kid, because I'm taking you to see the finest ladies this town has to offer. My treat. Huh, you mean it? Uh, I, uh, I always wanted to try Odyssey. I heard the chicks there are ridiculously hot. Uh, yeah, I've been there once. I uh, can't say it was my scene. Uh, really? Uh, but it's super popular, and all the magazines gave it rave reviews. So, so, so why's that? Well, uh, yeah, uh, the girls are cute, and the service there is top-notch. It certainly lives up to the hype. So, so where do they go wrong, then? Uh, uh. It's, it's the clientele. All the other guys that worked there were tense, uh, big-shot businessmen and A-listers. Old men who could light their cigs and, and wad of bills if they wanted. And the girls there pick up the scent of cash like sharks. A couple of nobodies like us go there and we'll be drowning our sorrows and we pa get passed right up. Oh, that, is that really how it is there? Oh, too rich for my blood. Uh, how about the Grand then? Uh, that place any easier for fresh meat like me? Oh, the Grand's great. Fantastic, actually. Uh, that's the, where I was going to suggest anyway. Let's head out. Majiba will be like, yes, my plan, it's working. Go to the Grand. Go to the Grand, my child. So the Odyssey is a class act, but it's making everyone but the rich wrinkled steer clear. If they don't get some new blood, they'll be screwed over sooner or later. Okay, is that the intel I needed? I kind of want to go now. Oh, hey! Some gooners! Hey, fellow gooners! I just got back from the sesh that I just had with my boys. Gotta say, having a blast. One out of three intel collected. Oh, there's more. I guess I can take a quick sweep throughout town. I assume that it, it's probably useful at, for convincing her, I guess. <clears throat> Plus, I can grind out some money while I'm, while I'm doing this. I should probably stay on the main roads, though, because I really doubt that I'm going to get intel going through the alleyways. It's, it's goon in time. That's that's Majima's catchphrase. Okay, let's let's zoom out really quick. Oh, so this is a completely different area than where I was with uh, Kiryu. It's actually a little bit smaller. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Shakedown. Hey, dude. Do you want to fight? Can we fight? Hey, buddy. I'm flat broke again. Come on, let's do it. I got your ass now. I got your number. Okay. Come on. Come at me. Ow! Ow! No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, there goes all my money again. Uh, yeah. Who? Getting all the intel gets you an achievement, and also a bonus down the road. Okay, well... I guess I'll just keep getting... Uh, wow, he beat my ass, too. Wow, that was sad. Very sad. Sorry about that, sir. <laughs> Machima's getting winded. I did hear that in later games, the sprinting is, like, unlimited, which I'm very happy to hear. Because all I kind of want to do is just sprint places. Maybe we can go on this back road. There might be something here. Hopefully I didn't miss anything over here. Sorry, sir. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything over here. <laughs> Let's go on that, uh, that bridge. I get that he's like seven feet tall, but come on. I know, I know, he's much stronger than I thought he was gonna be. What are you, what are you doing? What do you want? Oh, oh, now you don't want to talk to me. Is it because I have an eye patch? Is it because I'm ugly? Oh man, I wish I got more gooners. 
but you guys will do just fine. Oh, I just I don't think that uh I don't think Majima has any heat actions for when I when he grabs stuff. Uh when when he grabs uh people. But when he grabs items, he can do some good stuff. Oh my god. Oh, that, these guys are getting behind me. There we go. Yeah, I don't get any cool heat actions if I grab them. Uh, somebody said I can throw people off the bridge, though, which is something that I should probably try. Oh my god, not again! How small is this area? I keep running into this guy! I don't have any money, dude. You, you keep taking all of it. Maybe if I hoard a bunch of items, I could take them down. <clears throat> okay, so where's the rest of this intel? We got two more pieces of intel we can get. Okay, this is the end of this place. Can't go in there. What about this, uh, this area over here? Hey. Oh. Fellas! <laughs> Dang, Majima! Wait. Grab him? Aw, oh, man. Hold on. Let me handle this. Okay. Now grab him. Oh. Majima's grab is very slow. Okay, this guy's getting annoying. Off the bridge. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, now to talk to that guy. Ah, oh, that's Matsu, one of our Barkers. He'd have inside intel on the other clubs. Hey, my man, Matsu-san. Business has been good? A uh, new week is a new wallet, Majimahan. You? Doing fine, thanks to you. Long as you keep the customers coming, I can't complain. Oh, sit on that humility shit and rotate. We both know the Grand's only shooting up because of you. What, it's been two years? Oh, the, the Grand blasted off like a damn rocket ship since the day you turned up in Soten. Okay, so Majima's been at this for like two years. I've seen some salesmen in my time, but I ain't ever seen one like you. What'd you do before this, Majima Han? Heh. <laughs> no rear view mirrors on rocket ships, Matsu-san. Let me ask you a question instead. Yeah? What do you got? I need the scoop on Odyssey. How they been doing lately? Odyssey? Well... Not good? Nah, they're doing just fine. Don't get me wrong. The only guys in town that can keep pace with you and the Grant. It's just... Just what? Uh, less art, more matter, or some shit? Well, to tell you straight, it seems like they hit the ceiling. It's been a while since they got any new blood. The regulars keep them afloat, of course, but that's a red flag. The floor manager's about to get canned, between you and me. Yamagata Han, the manager, is looking to shake things up. I hear there's all sorts of change going down over there. Wow, pink slipping the floor manager before profits even start to dip? That's pretty bold. But I get the picture. Thanks for the tip, friend. Oh, so the oddities manager is starting to panic. I'm using up my ears. And you whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, Majima is definitely the type of person to be like whoop, 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 when he's running away. 
Okay, I'm gonna walk down this road and hopefully there's somebody I can talk to. Men in black! Hello, friends! You guys can follow me if you want. But I'm looking for somebody. Out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my way. Oh, do you want to fight? I can do that. Oh, he's a member of the Yakuza! Whoops! Yeah, bicycle! I'm just kicking him over and over again until he dies. Kick, kick. You can eat at restaurants to restore your health. Yeah, but I'm, I need to find people first. I don't want to eat at restaurants. I want to find people to talk to. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, there's a restaurant. Yeah, I'll buy some takoyaki. Thanks, random guy. Mm, that's good takoyaki. Wait! I need more! I'm gonna fill my inventory. Yes! Next time I see Mr. Shakedown, he won't know it in him. Let me save real quick. I know him? Hold on. Oh, oh, hey, fellas. I'll do, I'll do side content as Majima soon. I just want to do more story stuff because I want to advance. Yeah, I'm a kicker. Are you, are you interfering with my kicking? Kick, kick. <laughs> I forgot that Majima like has like some cool, some cool moves if I actually try to do them. Hold on, I want to try dodging. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna jump Mr. Shakedown the moment that I see him. This Mr. Shakedown guy, he's... He's got another thing coming, let me tell you. Okay, where's this last piece of intel? I feel like I've, I've surveyed every portion of this map. One of two things is gonna happen. One, I beat Mr. Shakedown, and he gives me a crap ton of money, or B, uh, Mr. Shakedown takes my money, and I can get more back later. Hey, Sonny, if you have a spare moment, why don't you play a noble game of strategy with me? Huh? And who are you? Hey, I'm just an old man who likes nothing more than Shogi. Whenever I have time, I come to sit here waiting for someone to join me for a game. Ah, Street Shogi player. Well, are you interested in Shogi? I'll give you some slack if you're not an experienced player. Hmm, maybe I could go for a game of Shogi. Uh, not now. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to play Shogi, and I doubt that the game is going to teach me. I'll come back to this later. Oh, no. Ah, dang it. Oh, fuck. Trash. Trash, trash, trash. Karate chop.
Let's uh, bring you over here. Into the wall. Into the wall. Into the wall. Into the wall. Fuck you! Shogi is basically Japanese chess. Okay, then there's no way I'm learning it all in one go on stream. Glad I avoided that for now. Okay, where? Oh, this seems like a nice open area. Oh my god. How many people want to beat my ass? Salty, you make uh you make doing basic uh, doing accounting homework bearable. Really? Really now. Uh I was trying to think of something I could say to make it uh more unbearable, but I don't think I know anything about accounting, so Excuse me. Check this out. Oh! Oh, I didn't know they were pliers! I didn't know they were pliers! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I would have hated if somebody did that to me. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that! I'm sorry! I'm too strong! I'm so sorry! Sorry! Oh god! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! I'm just looking for intel! Jesus. Okay, where the heck is this last piece of intel? Can somebody give me a little hinty? I don't want to spend forever just looking for a guy to talk to in this giant town. Oh god, not again! Oh, Gooners! You can find Intel at the computer store. Haha, <laughs> funny. Go to Intel. It, it's it's a computer store, I get it. Yeah, Intel computer store. Intel computers. Very, very funny, guys. How long is the stream supposed to go today? Uh, I at least want to get chapter three done. But it looks like that's not going to happen anytime. Oh my god. It's the clown. It's me, Bob Otsunomi Maya Zero! Alright, well, guess what I have for you? Cool. Oh, I have a- I have too much stuff. Oh, I can sell this. Hold on. Slime gun, steel grow bar, stone of enduring. Okay. Um, send this. Platinum plate. Okay, I gotta go sell this immediately. Do I have any, uh, combat points? I have 19 combat points. Hold on. Gotta go fast. Card watcher. Battle money magnet. Wait, what about business? No. Casting call. Must employ, uh, employ a new hostess. Okay, so I can't get that yet. Dash for longer, recover more quickly. Treasure hunter. Better value for your money when giving agents extra funds. There we go. Okay, I'm all set. Where's the pawn shop? I need to sell these. Hold on. Uh, list.
Hold on. Oh, a pawn shop. Eberisu pawn shop. Okay, that's it's on the top row. Pawn shop. Is this it? Looks like a pawn shop. Ah, yes. Ebisu pawn. I'm gonna show chat that I actually listen. Yes, sir. I would like to sell this plate and this platinum plate, please. Whoa, two million yen for Mr. Shakedown. Just so he can take it all away from me. Speaking of, let me equip, let me fix my, uh, Better equip some more uh, power surge. Uh, rolling kick. Two million yen. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to upgrade anything else. Okay, where is this last person I gotta talk to? I just want to continue with the story, but people are really insisting that I get this fun achievement and the bonus that I get later. Does anybody know where that last piece of intel is? La March? La March. Okay. I'll go to La March. People are saying they go to La March. I go to La March. Out of my way. I'm gooning. La March Sadenbori. Is there someone I can talk to in here? Hmm. I have no use for literally anything in here. Southeast of Lamarch. So they're out they're out here somewhere. Southeast. So I'm, I think it has to go that way. There we go. Um, sorry, but are you Majima from the Grand? Huh? Yeah. Why? Oh my God! I've been your fan since forever. Please, uh, you gotta let me work there. Oh, you're coming to look for the. You're coming to looking for work to come to the cabaret. I don't have any hostess experience, but I always swore if I can make it happen, it would be for the Grand. And why is that? Plenty of other famous spots in town. Like the Odyssey, for one. Sure, but you should hear girls talk. The Grand is kind of a big deal. If you're working in Sotenbori, uh, that's the only place that'll give you street cred. Oh yeah? What's so different about us? Well, Odyssey's super strict in their hiring, and I hear their show floor practice is like boot camp. Mess up and you get yelled at in front of all the other girls. Sounds like a re recipe for a nervous breakdown. Girls are a club's most important aspect. Gotta take care of the goods, you know? It's not so bad if you got experience to do your job perfectly, but for the girls starting out, uh, they say the fun club's better. Lots of girls have left it. You don't say. Seems harsh to expect pro skills from a college student getting a fresh start. Girls can quit any time they like. The whole trick is making them want to stay. Wow, you're just like the story stay, Majima. You actually listen to what a girl has to say. You must really care. Uh, now I really want to work at the Grand. Well, if you're serious, come on by with a resume. I'll be there waiting. Sounds like Odyssey is not the friendliest work environment. They're doing fine now, but in a few years, that was a hot tip. That should be enough to give me some leverage. Now let's go to the gates and poach Nozomi from Odyssey. Alright, we got it. 
Didn't get an achievement, but I assume that comes later. I will save now. It's so weird seeing Majima put together. Dude, yeah, I... I... Majima is another one of the, those characters that I'm aware of. And I know that he is kind of like a little bit of a gremlin man. So I'm wondering what's going to happen to make him once again into that little gremlin of a man that I've seen in many, many clips. Odyssey. This is the place. Ready to make that magic happen to Majima? Yep. Head inside the Odyssey. <laughs> he put on, he put on sunglasses. いらっしゃいませ。お一人様ですかああ。イエス。ただいま満席でして、少々待っていただいても構いませんでしょうか。かまへん、待つ。ほんま、すみません。そしたらこちらでお待ちください。よろしければお飲み物もお持ちしますが
I need to know more. Okay, what's my plan of attack here? What do I ask to get an info on Nozomi? Ask about Takako, ask about the Odyssey, ask about... I'll ask about Takako first. Hold on, uh, I want to see... Can I turn up the volume just a little bit more? There we go. Sir, I'm sorry, like flirting with a like a supposedly younger woman by saying that Santa is gonna come and like bring it and put it in her stocking is like, ugh, ugh. I know Majima's just trying to play the part, but it's like, ugh, ew, ew, gross. Why am I chatting up this girl like a tool? Damn near forgot why I came in. Yeah, <laughs> Majima, Majima's like, oh shit, I think I got a little bit too wrapped up in the role for a minute there. Uh, okay, uh, ask about the Odyssey. Today,また偉いコンドンな。お前日この半助してるんか？まあ年末中こともありますけど、最近はみんな強制で同伴させられてるから、その分お客さんが多いんとちゃいます？ <laughs> He's still dancing! He's still vibing out in the corner! ケーキ悪そうには見えへんけどな。単に自張ってるだけですわ。自分とこが儲かっとれば、それでええやないか。飲んでグランドが関係あんねん。うちもそう思うんやけどな。支配人はそう思ってへんみたいで。正直、何ぼ同伴したって、常連さんも毎日何十万もつこてくれるわけとち
Ah, okay, so she's a really big asset. She's a massive asset. あ、せやけど、この前ばっかりお客さんが来た時は逆に全然話題についていかれへんくてめっちゃ面白かったですわ。あ、今の内緒にしてな。うちがそないなこと言ってたのが他の子にバレたら大変なことになってしまうから。安
あんたは何差し出すつもりやまずはおおシェッツ明日にでもうちのもんに届けさせてもらうわ Ten million. それだけやない今うちで教育しとる新人若い客層を狙って育てとった連中やいわば将来の一番バッター中途ごがそいつらから好きなの何人でも持っていけ The tension in the room right now between these two is crazy あんたが目つけたひぞこをこっちによこすとああそうこうしそろった将来間違いなしの連中やでええんですか敵に死を送るようなもんですこっちは当面の売り上げが欲しいその代わりあんたんとこには将来の売り上げを保証する別に、nah, he's kind of spinning. どっちだけ投稿する話でもないでなあんたは顔に似合わず敵作らんとうまいことやる方法を知っとるらしいこれがマジマゴロウのやり方っちゅうわけか交渉成立ってことでいいなええー、でしょうただあんたんとことうちはライバルや今日みたいなのはこれ限りにしてもらいましょうかこれからはうちも全力で勝ちに行かせてもらいます覚悟はええな<笑> Dude just make out already oh my god さてとええー、酒飲ませてもろうたおがんじょう頼むわ勉強させてもらいましたからね。Man, we poached Nazumi without even having to talk to her. そらごちそうさ。ほな。Impressive, Majima. So let's see, what, what do we know about Majima now? He's a smooth talker. He, he knows what he's doing. He makes the best out of the worst situations. He's willing to make sacrifices. いろいろあんね。望みのシフトとか詳しいことは明日話すわ。わかりました。お疲れ様です。It's been a hell of a day. Time to get some grub and pass the hell out. Maybe I'll hit up Soton Bori Street tonight. Okay, time to hit up Soton Bori Street. Okay, now I'm gonna focus on just doing story stuff now. I'm not gonna do any of the side stuff or get like extra achievements. Just gonna focus on this. Also, I didn't get an achievement for getting all that intel. Which makes me kind of sad because that's the whole reason why I did it. But oh well, maybe that'll pop up later. Interesting that this road is blocked off. I feel like something's about to occur. You think this is a joke, pal? Huh? What's that guy on about? Sound pretty pissed. Is there a fight going on down there? Story mission, Andy? Yeah, I want to play the story! I'm interested to see where this is going. Whoa! Dude's got a sword! What kind of ass clown goes on a raid with big honking sword like this, you moron? Don't you got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons? You can't see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword? This is why I was hesitant to sell to you. You're making this about me? Awful cocky for a two-bit black market front. Whole point of a business is giving your clients what they want. Sounds like an arms deal. This isn't something I want to get involved with. I deal only with clients I respect. If you prove that, you're worthy of my weapons. Undergo my test. Oh. Test? The hell are you on about now? You and I will spar. Defeat me and you pass. Getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine. If you want to fight, I'll take you. Hold on, is there somebody outside my window? Somebody's like making noise. Oh no. The I, okay, I don't know. I'm hearing some weird noises, but I'm just going to ignore them. Hopefully that'll work itself out. I'll take you. See how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. 
Indeed, that's the point. This is a test of your proficiency with a weapon. I'm gonna I ain't gonna make you feel sorry when you lose an arm or I straight up end you. Ooh, whoa! And that's it. Holy shit! <laughs> so, <laughs> Kiryu says, that's rad. And Majima says, holy shit! <laughs> Hell are those moves with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever seen, but he's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch! You fail. Oh? Yeah, well, what do you expect giving me a shit sword like this? And that staff you got's way better weapon. This is merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold, on the other hand, is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. What? But apparently, you are unfit to wield it. I would ask that you not return to my shop again. Huh? The hell with your damn shop! I opened birds with you in it! Rumors said you were the dealer to beat, but so I went to bother dragging you down for what you brought- My! Shit, I've just been staring. Don't want to get dragged into somebody else's dirty dealing. I'm out of here. I can't wait for the guy to be like, hold on, you've been watching the whole time, haven't you? Uh, it's Combat Guy! Ah, uh, Majima. Curious meeting you here. Oh, it's you. D don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about in search of a place where the two of us could spar uninterrupted. That so? Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. Real nasty customer at that. His name is Fei Hu, a local arms dealer. Quite the master himself, too. So long as a weapon rests within his hands. What? You know that guy? I knew his father for ages back when he walked this earth. Checking in on him was half my reason for coming to Sutton As long as we're all here, why don't I introduce you? Hey, I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, don't be so stubborn. This'll be good for the both of you. How do you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off is long past. Seems like Fei Hu have been aware of your presence from the start. What? Yeah, I knew it. Apologies, Kameki-san, but I do not trust this man. There's an air of danger around him. Oh, now don't you go being stubborn on me, too. Delay no longer and put him to the test. I can tell you already, this young man will most certainly pass. Say what? Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, come, Majima. I saw that look on your face as you bore witness to that fight. A look of inspiration. And now your silence speak volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Yeah. Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration, just a few dumb thoughts rattling around. Yes, but what if they were enough to fetch Fei Hu's skill? That would be less dumb. Straight thoughts are more akin to a full-blown revelation. God, there's so much dialogue in these tutorial segments. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I just want to- I want to play, I want to know the story, I want to keep going. <sighs> Listen, I've had a long ass day and I'm tired as a dog, let's make this quick. I assume you have no objections, Fei Hu. Uh, if you recommend him so strongly, very well. It's settled then, what'll it be? The man is an arms dealer, he can procure you almost anything you want. I'm good to beat up that old bat- I'm good with that beat up old bat over there. A baseball bat? This is the story? I don't- I doubt that this will come into play later in the main story. Ho ho ho, this should be an entertaining match. Is there- is there a dog sleeping next to us? Why are we fighting here next to where this dog is sleeping? Shifty-eyed man. 
Okay, switch to slugger style. You can now switch to slugger style by pressing the right. Change to slugger style now. Try mastering the strong defensive potential that a bat offers. Dude, did the music change with the styles? I don't think I don't think I've ever noticed that up until now. I don't even know if that's a thing or if it's just this fight. When you guard using this weapon, you're less likely to be uh, you're less likely to be staggered by an attack. Use a bat to protect yourself. Okay. Guarding. Come on, hit me. Use Slugger style to defeat Fei Hu and pass the test. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Whoa! That, I just... I just juggled him! I juggled him with that! I stun locked him! It changes for every style? Oh, I, I didn't notice up until right now. I certainly did not expect you to use that bat so well. You're quite the interesting fellow. Just remembered using one back when I was running raids on the competition. I think I've, in I think I've improved since then, though. Surprise me, too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think of a spur-of-the-moment selection like that would get you far against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. So, uh, Fei Hu, right? What do you think of my bat work? Hi. This style is all I'd use with Majima. I can understand why. It's very fun. I'm sure that you could do some fun heat attacks with it, too. You pass with flying colors, of course. You're precisely the sort of person uh, my business exists to serve. Your weapons shop, you mean. That's nice of you to offer, but as you've seen, I ain't real interested in the conventional stuff. Heh. <laughs> so much the better. I'm not a common dealer pawning off of weapons I've scavenged. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you uh, there and explain exactly what it is we do. <clears throat> you can stock- you can stunlock people pretty much? That sounds fun! I love stunlocking people. This is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Yeah. This is my wife, Long Hua. New customer, yes? Many happy returns. And you said it wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it then? Hi. Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So you ain't an arms trader, you're a smith. Is that what you're saying? Precisely. Now, if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. At the Dragon and Tiger, you can enlist a host of agents to locate weapons, gear, and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three categories. Gear, recipes, parts. Put the agent's skills to use and gather the world's most strongest, powerful weaponry and equipment at your fingertips. So you send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such? That is pretty different. Our goal is to develop a robust network with arms dealers in the world over, but these age but some agents' work takes um, far from civilization. So basically you got these guys searching for a treasure out in the jungle and shit? I'm all about that actually. <laughs> Indeed, remote archaeolo remote archaeological sites produce some of the best the most beautifully wrought and historically important weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. Okay. Furthermore, customers have uh, customers who, whose contributions pass a certain level are given a special reward: private arms lessons. So I'm guessing that's why you're holding back, dude. My computer is getting so loud out of nowhere, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's like I entered I entered this Chinese restaurant, and all of a sudden. All of a sudden, my computer is like, oh no, he's about to order Chinese food. I'm gonna explode. <laughs> it's like, it, it, I, I get like fried rice and it renders every single grain of rice individually. Yeah, you're one slippery eel. Ah, speaking of fish, I just remembered I ain't ate, ate yet. I'm half starved to, starved to death here. Say this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me a house special, would you? You're a customer of the side of business, too? You wait, I'd fix you a feast. They're mining crypto to make weapons.
Majima, there's a favor I would like to ask of you. What now? I don't need to tell you not to spread the word of their business, but I'd also like you to keep vigil over them. Why is that? The, cu the happy couple in there is in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in time, their shop may draw the ire of a terrible foe. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I only ask that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps buy something, send them out on a search, that sort of thing. Yeah, alright. I'm headed into the wilderness to train. Don't go letting the edge of your- that edge of yours dull, either. Okay. Good. But, uh, get out of here. Huh? What's that girl doing by herself? She lost? Hey, kiddo! Where's your mom? Are you lost? No, I'm not. No? Then what are you doing standing around all by yourself then, huh? No reason. What's with this kid? She's doing she's doing it right not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. Listen, why don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. Okay. Off with you then, you little scamp. Kinda looked like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost. I want to make it home, okay. Just hope there's no troublemakers lurking about. Okay. Wait, do I talk to her again? She's not saying anything. Quickly, I, I want to save. If you unlock weapons for Majima, you can unlock them for Kiryu as well. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Okay, everybody's saying karaoke. I'll try karaoke once. Shop bar. Sega. Arcade. Casino. Jambalaya. Okay, we're going to the karaoke bar. It's all the way down there, though, which sucks. Unless I use a taxi. There should be one over here. Okay, let's go down there. Is that Smith where they can restore the lightsaber? Maybe. They might be able to make a lightsaber after a certain point. That's the karaoke bar. Got it. What? My daughter, please let my Iori go. What's this? Let her go? Your daughter is with us of her own free will. Your accusations have no merit. You people du duped my daughter into joining, you, you, fanatics! Disciple of the New Order. <sighs> if you persist in your venomous blasphemy, I'm afraid that Sister Iori will have to serve atonement for the sins of the mother. A atonement? Our adherence to pacifism makes the use of physical atonement distasteful, but at times, a necessary evil. Now, would you please let us be... Oh, this is sad. Yori, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do some karaoke! <laughs> I'll- I'll break up that Scientology group in like a second. I just wanna do karaoke first. Let's sing a solo before we help out that lady. Gonna sing my heart out! Twenty four hour Cinderella. I I saw I saw somebody wanted me to sing this one specifically. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Love me.
I'm trying so hard. I want to I want to get it as close as I can. I want to I want to start the 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 drama sequence. Oh, here we go! Yeah! <laughs> this, this is, this is, this is what Majima aims to be in his mind. You see, if I was an English teacher, I'd be like, okay, so what does this, what does this, what does this scene tell us about Majima? What, what, what does this, what does this scene indicate about his character? What do we know about Majima now? Well, he's very sad. It's clear that he wants to be, he wants to be... Happy. He wants to. He wants to sing. He wants to dance. What is the meaning behind this scene? Okay, let, let's help with the cult thing. Yori, what am I gonna do? Oi! I couldn't help but overhear you giving lip to those pajama-clad screwballs. Uh, then I went to go sing some karaoke, and now I'm back. Well, what's up? Pardon me? Uh, and you are nobody special. Like I said, it sounded like an argument, and I wanted to make sure you weren't in any danger. So you're just passing by? You're not one of, uh, them? Uh, that... that cult? Uh -huh. Cult? Mm. Yes. Those people I was talking to. Those people took my daughter, Yori. What do you mean, took? <clears throat> so you're saying your daughter got swept up in the pajama party and hasn't come home since? Mm. Yes, I don't know who to turn to anymore. How's old? How old's the Ori-chan? She's twenty, just a college student. Twenty, eh? She's ripe for the picking then. Girls her age are looking for freedom, and they must have had it on offer. But Iori isn't like that. She's been dumped by those people. By that cult. You sure there are cults? Not just a bunch of kooks in pajamas? Mm. Yes, I didn't know anything was wrong until I got the call from school saying Iori was missing classes. But she left home every morning so I followed her one day and that's when I saw her going into that cult's building. When Iori came home I confronted her about it. Rather than getting upset over my following her she said, What perfect timing! You should join the order too! Hmm... I've never seen my daughter so... vacant. She gets this faraway look in her eyes whenever she talks about this new obsession of hers. I'm sure they've done something to her. She's also been spending her money on these expensive amulets and statues. I told her she needed to get out of this cult. But she ain't exactly listening to a reason, is she? Right. The next day, the cultist showed up and just took my daughter away. They didn't resort to force, but they weren't going to leave without her either. <sighs> I gotcha. I've gone to see them many times, pleading to see my Iori, but they always turn me away at the door. <sighs> I just recently lost my husband. If I were to lose my poor daughter now... Your daughter's caught up in some weird cult and she can't even see her. That ain't right. Oh no. Uh, Majima, was it? Uh, may I please make a request? Go for it. I guess I kind of stepped into this one anyway. If it's for something reasonable, maybe I can help. Um, would you mind joining that tool for me? <laughs> you want me to join him? What part of that's reasonable? Mm. Well, only disciples are allowed inside. Joining them is the only way to get in. 
I would sneak in myself, but they know my face now. They would never let me pass the doors. I get it. Since they know don't know me, I can join them and gain entry with no fuss. It's sound logic, but... You must think I'm insane for asking you to do this. We only just met, but I want my daughter back. Majima, please. Please help me. I will, of course, provide a reward of some sort. If you could even just tell Iori I wanted her to come home. Even that'll do. Please. Um... I can't say no. I wanted to do story stuff, but this is too sad. I gotta help out. Well, I can't say no now, can I? But all I can promise is that I'll tell her to come home. Y you will? Oh, thank you. Majima, please be careful. There's no telling what the order of Manu Munin, Munin Kohept on Onest is capable of. Munin Cha Cha Cha, what now? <laughs> <laughs> the order of Moon and Kohab Donest. You must learn their name. If you can't even get the name, much, get that much right, the cultists will never trust you. Uh, right. Odd name for a religion, though. <laughs> anyway, don't you worry. I got this. I'll snake my way in, make contact with the Ori Chan, and then sneak my way out. Thank you. Please take this, Mashima. <laughs> what was that grab animation? What was- wait, what was that grab animation that he just did? He was just like, <coughs> uh, please. What's this? It's just a little chart I made up. It's just a little charm to make- uh, It's a charm I made to ward off evil! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I hope it works. Please find my daughter, Iori. Okay, time for, uh... Time for questing. Out of my way. Should I do this entire quest right now, or like... Okay, that that's directing me to the apartment. I need to... Okay, these are the cult members, okay. Those pajama freaks are in the cult that Iori Chan joined. I gotta help. Uh, I gotta join up to help her mom. Uh, hi. Excuse me. Yes. Do you seek something from us? To meet Iori Chan, I gotta get into this cult. So first, I gotta act like I really want to join. Oh, okay. That this one, Moonin Kohept Onast. No. I want to join the order of Moon and Kohab Donast. Ah, oh, you've come to embrace the divine magnificence of Moon and Kohab Donast? Uh, do you wish to become chosen? Yeah. Absolutely, I do. Moon and Kohab is where it's at. <laughs> Glory be! I can see you'll be the most excellent disciple already. <laughs> right this way, please. All right. Where do they come up with this shit anyway? <laughs> okay. Thank you for committing yourself to our path. Uh, may I have your name, please? Uh. I'm Majima. Goro Majima. Ah, <laughs> Brother Majima! Onast is, is Onast for informing me. Now, let's have you- uh -huh. Whoa, hold up a sec. You just threw in that psycho babble at me like I was supposed to know what that meant. Oh, Onast is a word we use to express the feeling of gratitude and appreciation. <sighs> uh, we already have a word for that, but Onast to you too. As I was going to say, Brother Majima, we'll have you observe a portion of our activities today. You must observe with purpose. It is the first part of your training to absorb our doctrine. There will be a test at the end to measure your faith. At least it ain't a pop quiz. Gotcha. Well, shall we be... Help! Help me! Help! Uh, hey, what's all the racket? Apologies, brother. Uh, he is a debaser. D debaser. Oh, not again. He must be more careful. We have a new recruit with us here today. Hi. Yes, I will call for chastening. Eh? Ch 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 chastening? N n no! N not that! No, no, no! Chastening! Have mercy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. That guy's scared shitless. I don't know what's going on, 
but maybe you can ease up on him? <laughs> Your concerns are unfounded, Brother Majima. That poor soul is racked by episodic outbursts of manic behavior. Outbursts, eh? Come, this way. No, I want to go home. <laughs> Please pay it no, no heed. Let us continue. They're gonna take his balls. Is that is that what chastity thing means? They're gonna take his balls. I hope they don't take my balls. Whoa, what do we got here? This is our prayer room. It's where we practice shure pee pee. <laughs> What? Hold up. You slipped that Shura pee, pee thing in as if it was the most natural thing in the world. What is it? Ah, but it is. Shure pee, -pee. <laughs> He's training to attain a higher enlightenment in the path of the moon at Kohep uh, Okay. Shure pee, pee is training. Okay, I'm gonna type- I'm gonna type that up. I know I'm gonna be quizzed about this later, so... Shu Shure PP is training. Yes, yeah, Shure PP. Got it. Those engaged in Shure PP are our latest recruits. As a collective, we refer to each other as friends. Latest recruits, eh? That lady's lost daughter, Yori-chan, could be doing the Shurei Pipi thing right here. Shurei Pipi gives them focus. Through concentration, they accumulate Kulipas. You guys got a dictionary for all this? <laughs> What's Kulipas? Well, to put it in layman's terms, it can be considered a measure of virtue. A uh, Kulipas measure of virtue. As we accumulate Kulipas, the Divine Moon and Kohept shall bestow enlightenment and, and rapture upon us. Uh huh. This is getting so old so fast. <laughs> oh, Sister Iori san, you must sway more. Proper Shure Pipi -pee is the path to enlightenment. Hey! Uh, yes, uh, Onest. Uh, Onest for your be benevolent guidance. Did he just call her Iori? Is that our girl? I'm sorry, I need a minute to help steer our friends towards the path of just, Brother Majima. Brother Majima, feel free, please feel free to observe. Don't mind if I do. Here's my chance to see if that friend is our girl, Hiyori-chan. No. Uh, hey, sister. Uh, sister, that guy called you Iori, right? Ignoring me, huh? Guess she wants to concentrate on her Shore pee, pee thing. But I gotta see if this girl's really Iori chan. What do I say to her? Crack a dumb pun, call her Iori. Claim to be Mona and Co. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Maybe if I name drop their god, she'll be open to listening. Worth a try. Moon and Kohept am I, mortal. I come bearing grave tidings. Huh? Wh what? Blasphemy! How dare you take the blessed name of our master, the great moon at Kohabt! Whoa, she got really steamed. Still, finally got your attention? You're Iori-chan, aren't you? What? How do you know my name? Uh, bam. This girl's got the- This girl's that lady's missing daughter. Iori-chan, listen up. I got a message from your mom. My mom? Yeah, she asked me to get in here and tell you to come home. Mother, mother, M mother, 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 mother. What the? Yori chan. <laughs> mother, my head, it hurts. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? Uh, snap out of it. Brother Majima, what's going on here? You must not disturb our disciples in Shore Pee Pee. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Sister Yori-san, are you well? Mm. Yes, I think so. 
Brother Majima, please be careful when speaking to fellow disciples. Our friends are purging memories of family and their other worldly and their worldly ties to attain spiritual purity. Yeah, this is very low key. This is terrifying. Say what? Pur purging memories? Yes. As a rule, our disciples undergo a mental cleansing process that they may better uh, dedicate themselves to Shorei Pipi. B but that's... Ahem, my friends. I ask for your attention! Ooh. <laughs> Today, our guru has come to inspire us into the climb toward even higher states of enlightenment through Shorei Pipi. Friends, our spiritual leader, Guru Munin Suzuki. My disciples. <laughs> My disciples. Munin Show. This is horrifying. You too, Brother Majima. Uh -huh. Wait, the hell is a moon nacho? Moon and show is our word of greeting. Incidentally, our word for farewell is hepton, Brother Majima. Okay, so moon, moon and show, moon and show. Is their greeting and hepton. Oh my gosh, my phone keeps auto-correcting these words, which I understand why, but is is farewell. Okay, there we go. Brother Majima, please. Say it with pose, just say the word. Say it with pose. Munancho. Munancho. He's really getting into it. <laughs> Nicely done. Two spirit points awarded. <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. A glory be! A most splendid greeting! Our savior and master, Moon and Kohept, is most pleased. Ooh! I had no idea it was physically possible to be this phony. It's actually kind of impressive. So friends, tell me! How much tithrance have you all contributed to the exalted Moon and Kohept? Uh, I've contributed five Rinsho. I've done better at eight Rinsho. Titherance is what we call teeth. Okay, th th there's so many words. Hold on. Titherance. Titherance is what we call is tith. Okay, I was just about to ask that. So how much is a Rinsho worth? One Rinsho is 100,000 yen. One Rincho is 100. Oh my god. Stop autocorrecting, please! Is 100,000 yen. Okay, got it. 100,000 yen? These disciples are kicking up that much in the co order? Hey. It's all a process to, great, to a great enlightenment and joy. When one is bound by the chains of gold, there can be no freedom. Renouncing our possessions is the first step towards the rapture. No matter how phony it is, I thought it'd be okay if the if I ma if it made people feel better, but damn. You're just straight up stealing from these suckers. <laughs> ah, so much titherance. Glory be. Oh, nast, my friends. Oh, sister. Yori-san, was it? You appear somewhat pale. Are you feeling quite well? Hey. Yes, I'm fine. Own asked for your kind concern, Guru. Yes! Incidentally, Yori-san, how much titherance have you tendered towards your enlightenment? I... I haven't been able to put together enough money yet. What? A false friend? Such shameful lack of faith. <sighs> I beg for your forgiveness. Shame! But friends... Do not chastise your sister Yori-san. We all have worldly excuses that weigh us down. Guru Moon and Suzuki. 
You must understand, Titherance is especially valued for of sh it is an especially valued form of Shorei PP. If you are alone or lacking in Rincho, Sister Iori san, your Kulip boss will be stunted. <laughs> Dude's just throwing out insane words in this sentence. Oh no, what can I do? Oh, Titherance is a donation. Shorei PP is some kind of meditation. And Kulip House is what now? God damn it, I can barely keep this gibberish straight. Sister Iori san, I'm happy to observe that you are blessed with the divine physicality and transcendental beauty. Engaging in special Shorei PP with me can set things straight. Is he talking is is he talking about fucking special Shorei PP? Guru, it's an aunt Uh this is the most sacred form of Shorei PP. It bestows enormous kulipas. We shall experience it together shortly. Go and cleanse your body of impurities. Rapture awaits. Oh, I hate this. Oh no. Hepton, friends, please continue your Shorei PP. Honest. I want to beat the shit out of this man. Where's the Orichan gone to? I know not the details, but it is among the most sacred of Shorei Pipi. The disciple becomes one, body and soul, with our guru. Become as one, hey? It's a special Shorei Pipi only allowed to women, and even among them, only the chosen. If I were not a man, I wish I could partake in its grand glory. This is bogus. This bogus guru is not only siphoning money, but he's also got his pick of the girls? How do these pajama twits not not get twist wise to his scam. Her mom only wanted me to get the message to Iori-chan, so technically I'm done with what I'm promised to do. But now Iori-chan's in real danger, so screw it! I'm extending my membership! Your tour is over, Brother Majima. It's time for your test. My test? Hold your damn horses. I, I ain't got time right now. Are you sure? By demonstrating you've learned the ways of the order, you may learn its blessings in person from the guru. Oh, okay. I can meet the old guru if I do your test. You're on then. Okay, I got this. I, I got notes. Very well, a simple oral exam, a quiz. Really, it to determine how attentive you were during your tour. Okay, here we go. In the order of Moonin Kohept Onast, what do you say to express your gratitude? We say, Onast. Splendid! Correct, Brother Majima. You have learned from our tour. Piece of cake. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. Your second question. What do we call training we undergo to accumulate kulipas? Uh, Shorei... Yeah, it's it's Shorei Pipi. Shorei Pipi! Wonderful, correct. You've practiced a proper Shorei Pipi even during our brief tour. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, I I'm the Shorei PP King. <laughs> the third question: Munancho is our greeting in the order of Moon and Kohep Onast. Please demonstrate it. Okay. Um. Bring circle with left hand. And oh, wait, so Munancho is their greeting. Yes, yeah, circle with left hand, then bring palms together. Munancho. Munancho. Excellent! Truly, a textbook example of Munancho. <laughs> <laughs> I got the moves. Very well. The final question. Do you remember the name of our guru? Oh, god damn it. Munin Sato. I think it's Munin Suzuki, right? I don't want to do the hustle. I'm trying to I'm trying to help this lady. Uh, is it Moon and Suzuki? Suzuki, yeah, that's what I figured. Moon and Suzuki, right? Bravo, correct. Perhaps it was too easy of a question. <laughs> you think? He's a uh, larger than life. With that, we are done. Your test is at an end. Splendidly done, Brother Majima. You scored a perfect four out of four. It speaks to your attentiveness during your tour. Someone of your caliber may even qualify as a leadership candidate. <laughs> <laughs> Moon and Majima's got a nice ring to it. 
Brother Majima, I can find no fault with you. You are worthy of receiving our, receiving our Guru's benediction in person. Follow me. I will show you to the Guru's quarters. Hope Yori chant's still okay. Can I beat him up? Guru Moon and Suzuki, please excuse us. I hate this. Ah, is that our new friend candidate? What was it now? It's Brother Majima. Uh, pleased to meet you. <laughs> Brother Majima is a rare find, an extraordinary individual. Guru, he is most worthy of your divine benediction. I see. That is music to my ears. I have matters I must attend to, so let's not waste any time. There. You now have my blessing. Okay, that was easy. You got some crystal. <laughs> you call this stuff your blessing? Is there a problem? Uh, no. I suppose not. Guru, uh, excuse me. Ah, Yori-san. I've read. Have you readied yourself for Shorei Pipi? Hi. <laughs> yes, Guru. I've cleansed myself thoroughly. I am a vessel of your special Shorei Pipi. <laughs> Excellent. Since I already performed your benediction, both of you should leave at once. Hep done. All right, end of the road. If I don't stop this now, the Shorei Peepee piss ant's gonna have his way with the Ori-chan. Shorei Peepee with me instead? Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. I am Moon and Cohempt. <laughs> I- uh, wait, hold on. Wh which one- oh, th these are all such good options. Um, my mind's too dirty for this, God. What do you mean, dirty? They're being very explicit. They're gonna fuck. We have to stop it from happening, though. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna do it. Shorei right, Pee Pee. Oh no! I was gonna say that to the Guru. Not now with now with the Ori. No, ew. No, I didn't mean to do this. Forget this granola Guru. How about you just Shorei right, Pee Pee with me instead? I beg your pardon. Would Shorei right, Pee Pee with you add to my Kulipas? Uh, it might not do anything for your Kulipas, but then there's no need. Brother Majima, what's the meaning of this outburst? He's in my chamber at once. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, here, here. I am Moon and Kohep Mortal. Hear me, Yori Chen. <laughs> Flee! Flee at once to your home! Huh? How dare you! You must never take Moon and Kohep's name in jest. Brother Majima, that is utter blasphemy. You spit in the face of our divinity. Who puts you up to this? P please forgive me, Majima son. You'll be doomed to eternal damnation. <sighs> okay, fine. Yori chan, you're gonna be con you're being conned. Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Huh? Mom? <laughs> uh, who who is m mom? My head it hurts. You can't forget your mom, Yori chan. They might have messed with your memory, but you gotta remember the woman who raised you. Stop it, Majima-san. Awakening the memories of friends is a sin beyond all sins. Shut your face, you damn phony. Yori-chan, stop out of it. I'll take you home to your mom. What? What is mom? Uh... Oh, this... It's my mother's amulet. Yori, you, do you remember now? Uh, I... I don't know. But why did I ever think I wanted to become one with this shady old hippie? You're thinking straight now, at least. This woman was ripened! Mine for the plucking! How dare you interfere! G Guru Moon and Suzuki? See? <laughs> They're snake oil shilling... Th there's there's your snake oil shilling fraud showing his true colors. Goro pajama pants has been milking all of you. Silence! Oh, here we go. Finally. 
Oh, this guy is going to be very easy to beat. Oh, whoops. Yeah, dude, holy shit, girl. Suzuki's got hands. Hold on. I'm gonna go brawler mode. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta... I gotta get uh, my heat back. Oh shit. Oh shit. Suzuki's got hands. Oh, I thought that I thought that window I could open because it had an arrow on it. Okay, come on, come on. I gotta be. I wanna build up my heat. I wanna ki kick this guy's ass. Fine. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Batter up. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him in the shore right pee pee, alright. Yeah! Switch. Come on, come on. Yeah! Take this! Chair! Get chaired, idiot. Oh, such pain. How many broken bones do I have? Guru, we heard terrible noises. Is everything all right? France, quickly. You must call me an ambulance. Our guru is gravely injured. We must perform the ritual of healing for him, everyone. Moonen. Oh, no, you dipshits. <laughs> Waving your hands around me won't fix anything. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love this. Somebody help me! I was like that too, wasn't I? Yori, we should get you home. Right. Dude, this kind of reminds me... Do you guys know... Uh, You know the voice... The voice behind Barney the Dinosaur became like a sexual healer? In recent years? He became a sexual healer... Except it says explicitly in his rules that he can only do sexual healing with women... Not men. If you're a man, if you're a man, you're not allowed to receive sexual healing from the voice of from from the voice of Barney the dinosaur. Explicitly, it, it's like in his rules. But I'm gonna be real. If if his sexual healing was real, if he could heal anyone, if he could heal anyone by having sex with them, then why why is there a gender discrepancy? If I could heal anybody by having sex with them. Then I would offer that service to, like, all genders. You know what I mean? Like, like, if somebody's dying of cancer, and the only way that they can they can be saved is if, if, if somebody, like, sucks them off, I'd do it. I'd do it if I needed to. That's why I'm like, what the fuck? What? Like, that's, that's a service that you have to provide. I feel like this entire conversation has kind of gone uh, a little bit insane. So... You done with that crazy religion? Mm. I've never heard about that, Jesus Christ. Salty, please tell me you're lying. No, I have not. I am not lying. But yeah, I... I like, if, if I... If my... If the powers of sex could heal people, and all you had to do was just give them a little handy, then just do it. If it, if it was real, 
When people are like, I'm a sexual healer, but I only have sex with women, so I'm only gonna have sex with women. Like, that's, it's the most bullshit of all bullshit. Hold on. Ever since dad died, you haven't stopped crying. But there was nothing I could do for you. That's when they told me the dead could be brought back to life. I just had to do these rituals and earn a few spirit points. Should have known how insane it was. I guess I got caught up in the cult scam. So that's why. Yeah, but I know if I follow those terrible people, I'd be leaving you all alone. Hold on, I want to adjust the volume again. Hold on. I'm just timing out some individuals in chat now because I don't really like how the conversation has gone. Um, but yeah, guys, can, okay, I, I didn't want to have to say this. Can you guys not be weird, please? If, if that's like, it, it, it can, can you maybe not? Like, I, I, I just, I just, I just want to ask, this is me being completely serious. When I talk about stuff, can people not make really, really weird jokes in response? That'd be really cool. I, 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 I apologize. I apologize for getting real for a second. I just like, I, I, I was talking about this on Twitter the other day. I think some, some of you guys take stuff in a very weird direction and I don't super appreciate it. And if, if, if I see you guys taking a joke too far or being like, oh, what about this thing? Ha ha ha. Or like repeating the same joke over and over. I'll just time me out for like 24 hours. Like not even like 30 minutes, like. 24 hours you're out and if, if I see you come back and make the same joke the next day I'll just I'll just ban you I'm sorry I I feel really bad that I have to do that but like some of you guys uh, some of you guys are really really weird in chat and it's it's getting a little bit on my nerves I'm sorry <laughs> anyway I can't, I can't even enjoy the sub story anymore Majima please take this as our thanks that traveler's amulet. But yeah, I, I apologize. I don't mean to get like real and serious for a second, but I have been meaning to say it. it and this is its mom's... It's the amulet really works, you know. After all, you got some free pajamas out of it too, Yori-chan. You hold that amulet, let it protect you and your mom. Keep the family together, will you? What's up? Thank you. You saved us. It's all good. Okay, yeah, so, basically, all I'm gonna say is... What do you mean, new video clip available? What do you mean, new video clip available? Of the girl I saved from a cult? Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? W why? Um, but anyway, yeah, so I just I just want to make it really explicitly clear Because I'm, I'm not putting up with it anymore Some guy some people in chat are really really weird about stuff I'm just I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this. I I want to I want to be real for a second Do me a favor Do me a favor If you are about to send a message in my chat and before you send that message, before you click send, read it out loud to yourself. If you think that it's weird of you to ask or weird of you to make a joke about, maybe don't send it. I can't believe I have to say that, and I know a lot of you probably won't listen. But you can find out the hard way. I can just set out the ban hammer. It's okay. Like, I don't mind. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of tired of, like, consistently having to... Kind of just 
let those messages, like, let really weird people just kind of message whatever. So just please don't be weird. I'm just trying to have fun. Oh, hey, hold up, Majima. Uh huh? huh? Do I know you? Yeah, I'm with Odyssey. Ring any bells? Odyssey? Look, if this is about Nozomi, Yama Yamagata and I have worked out a deal. Just because the manager okayed it doesn't mean that we did. You got balls like boulders to come poach our number one girl. heard about your little customer's king policy. They say you'll never uh, you get down on your knees and beg. Some lord of the night sounds freaking pathetic. You that hard up for cash? I misread that, but whatever. Yeah, I, I apologize for having to get serious for a second, guys. And I, I probably will. This will not be the last time I'm going to have to bring this up. I can already tell. I mean, you could get more mods. I'm pretty sure you can blacklist uh, big no-no words. I mean, the thing is, is that I do have no-no words blacklisted. I just, certain, certain topics people like to bring up and talk about. You can't, like, blacklist, like, entire phrases. Because they, they can be very, there can be variations of, of such. I was gone for three minutes, what a chat to- Chat was just being weird. And being like, haha, wouldn't it be funny if I made this joke even though it's not funny at all? I know I know that you watch Salty DK Dan, so creative humor is not really your strong suit. But, uh, let's, you know... Let's reel it in. Customer's king, dude. You want revenge? Come drink at my club. <laughs> long as you're my customer, I'll get down on my knees and grovel as much as you want. Do your worst. Man, Majima's cool. Customer is king. You got it? Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my stuff now. If it lets me, I, I don't know. Nope, it seems like Majim is going... <laughs> he's limping up the stairs. Oh wait, nope, here we go. Abilities. I got some... Got some good stuff. I'll upgrade the slugger a little bit. Go. Thug. Okay, let's charge body blow. Master. Ooh, that's interesting. Boost health. Yep. Oh, no, I don't have enough. I'll save up for it. But I do want to buy this stuff. I don't have enough for anything else here, so... God, these are expensive! Uh, boost Majima's maximum health. Oh, I can get this one, though! Okay, there we go. Upgraded.
Well, he's got a creaky, small little apartment. Who is that? Uh... <laughs> Why is everybody staring at him? He's gonna look up. <laughs> Even the homeless community is pissed off at Majima for some reason. He's too pretty, they they can't help it. Chapter 3, A Gilded Cage. Okay, awesome. Climax battle item opened. Okay. Chapter 4. Proof of Resolve. I assume that this is another Majima chapter? Three years ago. Oh, Yodai. Oh. Oh, it's Majima. Oh, and it doesn't have the eye patch either. まがいもは一切なし。同時マグミ経由で仕入れた昇進証明の本文や。拳銃は全部で6丁。1丁につき6発撃てるとして36発発射できる。36発か。相手は上野義春とその場にいる清和会の連中全員。この間のとこ呼
そんくらいわかっとると思っとったがなおやじ兄弟は最初もあったんだけど He's dead He's definitely dead It's over. Oh, oh they have, is that a brand? Oh, interesting. Apparently, uh, and later in the series, we get different perspectives of this flashback. That's cool. So his brother died, uh, and he and he was tortured. His blood brother. I mean, I I consider blood brothers to just be brothers. I figured that they weren't like actually like like you know blood brothers. But listen, I I'm into One Piece. Nakama family. This is the same thing to me. Like I th I I consider Kiryu and Nishiki to be brothers, but I know that they aren't. Like they they are brothers to me. Another shit night's sleep. Gotta get to work. Not much else I can do right now. Okay, now it's time to focus on the plot. I've done enough side content. Okay, maybe one little tiny bit of karaoke. But then, plot! Okay, then plot. River fishing. Oh no, I can't get I can't get sidetracked. I can't I can't get sidetracked. Don't get sidetracked. Unless it's for karaoke, in which case get sidetracked. Oh, God damn it. What's happening? Aaron's on the run. Hey, careful, you can't barrel through the crowd like that. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. It's fine, what's the big rush? I have to go to the convenience store, the one over there. You got real problems if you need to... If you need to hit a convenience store that bad. Yes, I have to get some lip balm right away. Yes, lip balm. I'm in a hurry, so I have to run. Bye. Hey, what's up? Are you in some sort of pain? Uh, my feet have been sore ever since this morning. And why'd you slow down a bit? Yeah, go easy on yourself. Ah. Okay, whatever. I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't. I can't right now, bud. <sighs> okay, where? Karaoke bar. <laughs> Damn it! I can't I can't say no to, to an individual being bullied. Goodbye. There's only one song for Majima? Oh man, that sucks. Then maybe I'll just keep going with the story content then. And I'll just do the rest off stream. Oh, I got iron gear. Thank you. Out of my way, sir. <laughs> look at that look at that muscle man up there. Dude's serious. Yeah, I'll I'll do some karaoke stuff off stream actually. Oh, what? 
Hello? <laughs> oh, hi. How's it going? <laughs> yeah? Thanks for calling me right away. What's that clunky ass bag he's slinging? You wanted to hear about my shoulder bag phone, huh? No, uh, that's not what you're calling about. <laughs> okay, sorry. Bag phone? Is that bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? Oh, all right, I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, <laughs> you know who to call, okay? Bye. Dude, I do not care about this man's bag phone. Man, why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of bag phones? Okay, well now I slightly care more about bag phones. Do they know how much I had to beg for this thing? Boy. Hey, buddy. Uh, were, were you just chatting on the phone through that chunky bag you got there? Pardon? Yes, exactly, yes. I, I was talking using this. That's pretty wild. Uh, some kind of radio then? Uh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, it's a real phone. It's called a bag phone. A bag phone? Who puts a phone in a bag? <gasps> oh, really? You don't know? Uh, this is all the rage now. It's fully transportable mobile phone that made possible through the state-of-the-art technology. From now on, people will be able to carry telephones with them all the time. You'll be able to connect with anyone, anytime, and anywhere. A mobile telephone, eh? <laughs> Crazy, but... What's the point of carrying a phone with you at all times? Ugh, you're not seeing the bigger picture. With this bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You can even turn into a cafe- You can even turn a cafe into your workplace. You can be in touch with your friends and family at all times. I could call my mom right now if I wanted. Uh, sure. I guess I could see the use in that. I knew you'd see the light. Doesn't it make you want one? <laughs> you should head to the store and get rid of- get- Get it to ride the wave of the future. Yeah, right. I'm guessing that thing will cost me an arm and a leg. Riding the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah. It's more expensive than I should even say. Figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to the payphones and the rest of the peasants. Hmm? But weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah, I was about to make a call. So I see. <laughs> Very well! I shall let you use the cutting edge of technology, my bag phone, to place your call. Whoa! You sure about that? Mm. Certainly. I want everyone to experience the future today. You need to understand that just what a bag phone represents. Aren't I generous? A bag phone, huh? Guy says it's a state of the art. Do I want to see what it's all about? Not right now, dude. Thanks for the offer, but maybe some other time. Mm. I'm care. I, I gotta. I gotta. I got stuff to do, bud. Well, yo, what happened to those guys in the back? They were freaking out. All right. Wait, how long have I been playing this in total so far? Fifteen hours. Dang, it, it doesn't even feel like that. No, oh, dang it. No, stop. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> get it, get it, get it! <laughs> Good morning, sir. And again, thank you for managing to strike a deal with Odyssey yesterday. Just doing my job. Now it's up to you guys to keep this place on the upswing. Uh, still, it was quite a surprise to wake up to. Why didn't you tell me two other girls were coming besides Nozomi? To what now? Sure, neither one is at Nozomi's level, but they're both veterans and fantastic draws for the club. With any luck, they'll bring all sorts of regulars straight to us. We gave them some of our girls in trade, but there's no denying that we came out on top here. Last night's negotiations must have been something to behold. Well, I did a fair bit of research beforehand. As long as you get a little dirt under your belt, you can pretty much swing the rest. Oh, is that the bonus people were talking about? That may be true for you, sir. It's no wonder they call you the Lord of the Night. Using a bag phone to save your process instead of a phone, but okay, guys, I'll check it out in a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to do the story. Looks like my little talk with Yamagata uh, went better than I thought. Maybe I should could have stuck it to him even harder, though. Got a few more girls out of him. 
I guess I could have done more research or given the club a better look at the, a few more cards in my hand to play with. No sense to worry about it now, though. Oh, I failed? Did I not do everything? Ah, oh, that sucks. Now, if it's a good time, I'd like to work out the new shift schedule. Sure. Telephone for you, sir. Oh, wait, voice acting. The owner. Ah, uh, here we go. What now? Ah, damn it. Leave us alone, Sagawa. Fine. <laughs> Holy shit! I'd rather go down in a hot mug of my own piss? That stuff tastes as good as you might think. Sagawa, are you admitting that you've drank your own piss? Oi! Yeah, the owner needs me. Uh, apparently, he really wants to drink piss together. Sir? Uh, understood. I'll let the floor manager know. Okay. Have you guys ever heard of that one, like, there, there, there's like a tradition with baseball players where they'll, they'll, like, piss on their hands to make their hands, like, more, like, tough and hardened? But apparently, I, I did some research on that after I heard about that for the first time. I was like, is that true? Like, if you piss on your own hands, does it make them, like, hard and, like, like easier to, like, play baseball with? Turns out, it's, it's the opposite. If you piss on your hands frequently, it actually makes the skin a lot softer. So, they all these baseball players who piss on their hands to make them harder, uh, they, they've been doing that for literally no reason. Let's save really quick. Yeah, no, that's an actual thing that, like, there was a bunch of baseball players that used to do that. Where, where, what they would do, because for, for baseball, you have to have, like, it, it, it's good to have, like, hands that are tougher. And that way, you know, like, you can grip stuff tighter without, like, your hands, like, you know, getting hurt over time. So they thought that if you pissed on your hands then it, it would make them a lot tougher. But turns out, as science might suggest otherwise, uh, it turns out that if you piss on your hands a bunch, it'll just make them, like, softer and softer over time. I think it has something to do with, like, them being acidic, maybe? There's a lot of baseball traditions specifically. Better than the matches prank, I guess. What, what is the matches prank? Hmm, what am I going to do? Oh, what to do? Y you! Thanks for the fact of the day, Salty. No problem. Okay, what is this? Er, well, the thing is... You want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Yes, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is... Uh, um... Listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I... I have a favor to ask. C can you... Please be my boyfriend! What? Say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend, please? A pretty please? What, just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean like, you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. B -b boyfriend right <laughs> gulp <laughs> okay back it up a uh, step or six what the heck's with this little lady here just ran up to me on the street demanded I be her man every girl I meet these days makes me understand I'm less and less <sighs> I gotta get it together can't let I can't let can't let her know she got under my skin I give her a strong answer like don't even think you've won little lady I'll take that as a proposal I got no- I got no interest in women. Sorry, darling. I got no interest in women. Huh? Uh, oh, okay. 
I mean, that's not a problem at all, uh, but if you don't mind, uh, could you set aside your preferences and just be my boyfriend for today? What are you talking about, girly? Oh, darn it. I've let out, left out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? Pretend? Hi. Yes. You see, my father is visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and I told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him, kinda like the blade of a knife. Why would you give him so many details? And why did you just describe me as me down to buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kinda made it up as I went. But then my dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am. I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad? Wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody looks at... Nobody looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend just for a little while? God damn it! Yes, yeah, sure! <laughs> the girl's in a pickle, all right. Who'd want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with them? Fine, you painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! Glad I didn't lose hope! Oh, uh, my name is Cocoa. Please call me Coco-chan. Uh, uh, oh, and uh, I, sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Goro Majima. I see. Then Majima-san, I'll address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? We just met. That's taking the things a little fast, don't you think? No, no. I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. Uh, if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should get going. Like, right now. Okay, apparently this one's short, so thank god. Because I do love these sub-stories, I just, I just want to keep playing the game, because otherwise, it, these streams are gonna be... They're gonna go on forever. I, w I will gladly... Wait, hold on, hold on. I figure, I figure I should ask this. Chat. After I beat the game, can I go back and play the game as either Majima or Kiryu to do the rest of the sub-stories, or is it like completely locked off after that point? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to a restaurant where we'll meet uh, my dad for dinner, the three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. Uh, make it so we... Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go, why don't you? Bing, bang, boom. Oh, no, no, no. That won't work at all. Oh, yes, you can? Okay, cool. Sub-stories are the game? I know, but I, I, I want to get back to Kiryu. I want to know what's going on with Kiryu. You can freely switch characters after? Okay, cool. Then that's all I care about. I don't want to miss out on, like, stuff, but if I can play it later, too, then that's perfectly fine. Oh, no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him how kind of a man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Get a move on. Damn, I don't know what I was expecting, but here we are. Here we are. Once you beat the game, you can keep playing in a free roam mode to finish up anything. Okay, cool. Glad that it's not like Persona, where like, you, you, you beat the game and then you have to start over. So, Goro-chan, this is where I'll meet- we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. You got it. But what's all this about making him angry? Your dad get pissed off easily? Oh, no. He's- Dude, holy shit, is that Dame Dame in the background? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Dame Dame in the background. I completely- Yeah, Dane Dane. Oh, he's just stubborn. He's not scary, though. 
He seems to think I'm the, not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should, but underneath it all, he's a good, as good a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. You see? So if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, it'll, he'll blow his lid and be like, Forget this guy, and I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is on the omelet rice I make, okay? Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure that you got it memorized? Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? <laughs> Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. <laughs> you like going out on drives and watching movies. And you like the omelet rice I make, okay? Okay, God, I took a picture of it. But I'll give him my best shot. There he is, Dad, over here. So, this is Coco-chan's dad. Unlike this, his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Goro-chan, this is my father. Uh, hello. I'm Kokoa's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima-san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is su super important for a normal couple. This could end up making a huge impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get into this full property properly. No different than uh, than at the Grand, right? The first impression's key. What do I open with? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm delighted to see you, father. I'm delighted to meet you, father. Please make my miso soup every morning. <laughs> I'm just gonna go basic. Pleased to meet you. I'm Goro Majima. Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima Kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Kokoa-san has stood by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth, so... So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Majima-kun. Uh, that's right, Dad! Goro-chan's not like one of those stereotypical men. Good. The first impression went well. Playing the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima-kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender-waisted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura unlike a dagger's edge. Not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? Ha 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 ha! Well, they do seem to be on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. Also, slender wasted? God damn! I wish the Majima was real. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yes, Majima could. Kokoa have mentioned it already, but uh, what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? Oh man, I think Kokoa mentioned that backstory that she gave me. I think it's dentist, right? Dentist. <laughs> Imagine if I said Yakuza? Oh my god. I'm a dentist. Oh, Yakuza, not Yakuza. I'm trying to still get used to that. Oh yes, that's right, I heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. Oh, your name is Frank, I understand. <laughs> Get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad, you're being so rude to my Goro-chan. Whew, I'm just glad I remember what Koro-chan told me back in the hack job of a backstory. Incidentally, Majima-kun. Uh, yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokoa? 
Oh, well, that's, uh, um... I didn't ask you. I asked Majima-kun. But, uh... Tell me, Majima-kun. How did you two get to know each other? Oh, she didn't say that. She didn't say that in her backstory. Gotta explain how I supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that won't make him suspicious. Stand next to each other and I... Koko-chan ran into me while eating toast. I feel like that's a little bit too uh, too specific. I'll just describe how she met me right right now. Koko-chan popped out of nowhere and asked me out. Wh what? So she's the one that pr propositioned you? Not the other way around? Yep, that's the truth of it. She stopped me on the street and just said straight up, I want you to be my boyfriend. Um, yes, that's exactly how it was. I knew the instant I saw Goro-chan that he was the one. It was like electricity. I couldn't help but go to talk to him. Hmm, Kokoa approached you, did she? Kokoa, you were that desperate. Damn, I thought honesty would be the best policy, but the cold hard truth is kind of backfiring here. Guess no father wants to hear about his daughter going on the prowl for a man on the street. Majima Kun, I'm going to put it to you straight. What it is a, what is it about my daughter that you find attractive? D Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Kakoa, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, why, I would give my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, uh... That's why I need to ask Majima-kun. What about Kakoa do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here, I guess I can't blame him. He's thought his future's on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Koko-chan I'd go along with this. Gotta find a good reason. Okay, uh, she's cute. She makes great omelette rice. She's innocent and childlike. That's- th that one's really bad. That was, oh, no way. Um... Uh, you love the omelette rice I make. Um... I'll say the omelette rice thing. I think that might be the answer. I fell in love with how great the omelette- <laughs> Oh no, this actually isn't good. The omelette rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelette rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. Oh, how did that work? But Majima Kun, if that's all you see my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. Oh no. If it's delicious omelette right, omelet rice that you want, you could just e as easily marry a cook. Dang it. I overthought it. Damn it. Tapping into Coco Chun's backstory backfired. From her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Uh. Oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey. Don't fall in. Wait a sec. With her powder in her nose, it's down to me and just her old man. Damn, awkward. Majima-kun. Yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Eh? Her lie? Oh, what lie? I got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> <laughs> you can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I could tell by the way my daughter was acting. It wasn't her father all these years for nothing. Then why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Mm. Coco was desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arranged for. Her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Coco was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone's help. I tried to raise her well so no one would look down upon her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. Gotta stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday, my daughter's gonna bring a real boyfriend to meet me. 
And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Sadly, the creepiest option was the right one. This takes place in the 80s after all. Oh, jeez. Bah, it still ain't good feelings. I spent so much time lying to someone who was knew, it, knew it from the start. But I gotta tell you, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco-chan pulled this stunt. Well, what do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you she can manage her own affairs, like getting married. This is sad! <laughs> Sorry I'm back! Hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Uh, did you even break the silence? <laughs> Welcome back, Koko-chan. So, listen, your dad actually knew... majima -kun. Yes? Kokoa, you've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad... <laughs> I know, right? Goro-chan's a super guy, so this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes. I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Okay, I'll walk you back, Dad. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm so happy for them. Goro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Goro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this. Thank you. Got five pieces of fluorite. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> fluorite? <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? Whatever the case, I think I'm free from my dad hounding me to meet his suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yes, well, I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Uh. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do proper introduction. So he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Oh, this is a sweet little story. Pokoa, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, okay. Huh? Uh, something wrong? Majima-kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Huh? Eh? What's that? Majima-kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why- Oh god, he's gonna say you should date my daughter. I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend! Excuse me? What did you just say? I said, uh, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please? What in the fresh hell thinks- What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the real de I Because you're the ideal man! I think I can safely entrust her future to you. I- I hate to say it. But Cocoa's dad, it's making a lot of sense. If- if I had a child, and they ended up dating somebody like Majima, at least in his current state, I would not be worried. Whoa, slow down. I'm having trouble believing my ears. You could start just by pretending, that's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say what I think you just said? Yeah, Dad, what's this all about? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. That was an awesome subst- Okay, no, why- why is there a new video available? What? No! Why is that a thing? Oh! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> out of my way, out of my way, out of my way! Everybody wants a piece of Majima, I guess. Honestly, I get it. He's- he's a swell guy. It's a little bit too loud. I'm gonna turn it down again. Don't want things to be too loud and overpower. 
my voice. All right. That was a cute side quest. I, I enjoyed that. Okay, let's make sure to save. That was a shorter side quest, but I still I, I still had to read a bunch. Sorry I'm late. I was pretending to be somebody's boyfriend. <laughs> Chef, can you please get my friend here a, a good old glass of piss? Majima, you love drinking piss, don't you? I love it too. Dang, that looks good. Dang, for like a PS3 game, that water looks pretty good. I I I just called that water. I know it's not water. I I'm an I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's, it's alcohol. I I don't know why I said man. That water looks real good. It's obviously alcohol. <laughs> what am I doing? Every sub story is canon. I bet. Like if it was water, then why would he why would he drink it so slow? You know what I mean? I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. It's sake. I'm stupid. <laughs> まあ、わけわかんねえよな。極道の世界で親に逆らった奴は必ず相応の報いを受けるもんだ。破門、絶縁。破門。その辺ならまだいいが。ジョー、ジョー。人知れず殴り殺しにされることもある。The brain rot setting in chat. お前は穴倉行きっていう、その最悪のケースを踏んじまったはずなんだ。you look like shit after that goon sesh Majima what what okay wait I, I think that there's a word for it is, is there a word for the head of the goon sesh uh, is like the goon commander the goon I think it's called it, the person who's the head of the goon sesh is called the goon commander そして大門違いの兄弟分である俺にお前は付け、敵として買うように指示をした。武藤派と呼ばれる島のが何でそんなに周りくどいことをしているのか。奴の目的は一体何だろうな。さあ、The <笑> <laughs> Get enough of fucking that ass of yours. 
なんだよつまんねえやつだなそうだ一つお前に聞いてみたかったんだなんでお前そんなに登場会に戻りてんだお前みてえな跳ね返りがこんなバスに耐え続けてまで OK so it's Majima was a part of the Tojo clan And the Tojo clan is like the big umbrella that embodies stuff like the, Do the Doji, the Dojima family. Is it, is that what it's called? The Dojima family? So the Tojo clan encompasses the Dojima family as well as other Yak Yakuza families. I'm getting it, Chad. I'm understanding. I'm understanding how the hierarchy works. Yakuza. Yakuza. I feel like I'm missing some of the story now. Oh, wait, so his brother might not be dead. What? I thought his brother was dead already. Okay. Oh, he's in prison. Okay. He explicitly said that Sajima is still alive. Yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm putting together right now. So Sajima is in prison, and Majima thinks he's gonna come back and try to kill him because he probably thinks that Majima betrayed him, which he didn't do. He wasn't aware of what was going to go down. Yeah. Sagwa, just tell us, tell us what's going on, bud. Can you drink piss? Piss? Anyway, yeah, he's, he's asking he's asking Majima to kill somebody for him. じゃねえか。極道に戻れるなら何でもやるってよ。違うのか。そないなことせんでも俺は店の売り上げ。あと5億上げて極道に戻る。オデッセイから望みを引き抜いてか。Oh, <笑>まあ、つまり、お前の未来は俺の手の中にあるってことだ。金儲けさせた上に人殺しまで手伝いっちゅうんか。どっちも大事なことなんだよ。いや、サガはスカンバグ。誰をやればいいんよ。誰を
I love how they're talking about killing someone and the chef is right there. Now, 100% this chef has probably heard worse. <laughs> they were just talking about drinking piss. Can't wait. Alright, so we have our next goal. We just have to kill this, this uh, prostitution ring guy. Murder's murder. Never escape the memory. Yamajim is like the direct opposite of the, of uh, Kiryu. Kiryu, I don't think would kill anybody, but Majima is like, if I have to do it, then I'll do it. <laughs> the chef definitely has to deal with this sort of shit every day. He's like, so... You want some uh, more sake, sir? Any soy sauce with your food? Um, or you're just you're just gonna leave to go kill that guy? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely go leave and kill that guy. <laughs> that, that, that guy who walked behind Majima heard what they were talking about and was like, oh, I'm out of here. Uh, mm, don't wanna don't wanna be around for this. Start tomorrow. Okay. Majima. Whoops, sorry, sir. I don't care to get into a fight with you right now. Or do I? Come at me, bro. Goodbye. Wait, Soldier, you're gonna finish the game on stream? Uh, probably not in this stream, but yeah, I, I plan on streaming the whole game. I, I promised. Even if the views get a bit lower or people don't really care anymore, I, I wanna I, I wanna commit to it. It'll probably take a bit, but I, I wanna I wanna play through the whole game. <clears throat> Honestly, I probably could have picked a better Yakuza game to stream. I'm gonna be real. Apparently, this is one of the longer Yakuza games. But I mean, hey, getting one of the longer ones out of the way first. Before you go finish up the chapter, before you go and finish up the chapter, please go back to the weapon shop. You, you've unlocked a training session, which will allow you to unlock a new weapon. Also, you get to do a fun boss fight. Oh, I didn't mean to start fishing. I did not mean to start fishing. Uh, don't fish. I will fish later. I'll see if I can go back to the weapons place uh, soon, but I wanna I wanna sleep first. Will you do the whole series? I don't know about the whole series on stream because that's a bit very difficult. <laughs> I'm ending Makoto Mika Makimura. Uh, step one's finding the guy. Sagawa said that tried hanging up the telephone clubs for girls in Makimura's ring. Guess it's time to go make some calls. Get it? Telephone clubs, making calls, so funny. So you, this game is already a 10 out of 10 because it has a fishing mini game. Hell yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna finish up this chapter today, but I do want to do a bit more. Here, let me save up. Oh wait, hold on, there's a thing on the floor. Oh, I got the Yuki Natsume Type A card. Right. Hold on. Where is the weapons shop? Drugstore. 
Weapon and armor shop. Okay, that's where it is. So, here. I'll go there first, and I'll do that. And depending on how I'm feeling, we'll keep going after that, or we'll start to wrap up. Because it's already been, like, three hours. I don't want to, like, uh, overdo it. Bro, the whole series took me several hundred hours to play. There's no way in hell anyone would play the whole series on stream. Yeah, I'm starting to think so too. I'd be fine with playing like a bunch of, a couple of games off stream. I just figured I, you know, I might as well record my first experience. Like really taking the, taking the game seriously. But yeah, we'll focus, we'll focus just on Yakuza 0 for now, and then, you know, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll, I'll play more on stream. If not, I'll just kind of start playing them, uh, off stream. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll record my reactions, I don't know. Check it out, a little kid all by her lonesome. Eh, she ain't old enough to hustle. Keep your eyes peeled, would ya? <sighs> no fool! Grab the kid, shake down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Pretty smart. Could be some cash in that. Let's do it. Excuse me. Not on my Majima watch. Got something real nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Don't wanna. Tch, little fucking brat. You're coming one way or another. Uh, no. Okay, I gotta beat these guys up. See, what did I tell you? Who the hell are you? Your old man? Nobody special. Just looking out for a stranger. Huh? Stranger? Then mind your own business. Don't get it going, getting any ideas. Okay, am I gonna... Am I gonna fight these guys now? Yep, okay. Menacing man! Check this out, menacing man. Oh, you have a bat? I have a bat, too! I just hit the wall. There we go. Oh shit, dodge! Shinpai and Crystal did the whole series. I mean, I do like, I do like me some Shenpai. And if Shenpai could do it, I, I could probably do it. It would just take very long. Also, Shen, I think, is better at video games than I am. Uh, thanks, sir. Sir, I'm only 24, you know. <sighs> Majima is one, <laughs> is one year below me? This dude on screen is one year younger than me? Dude, oh my god. I look like shit compared to this dude. I need to start going to the gym again. I is this the series that's going to convince me to start going to the gym again? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Something wrong? You and your mom fighting? No. Then what's up? The doll. Huh? The red chestnut. The squirrel. Chestnut, the squirrel? You mean the red squirrel prize and the UFO catcher? Yeah. You want that? Yeah. I'm sure your dad will buy one if you ask nice. What? Don't have it, Dad. Oh, sorry, Scamp. It's okay. I'm fine. Still, no point in hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can you? It's okay. I don't need it. But it's so cute. I just like to look at it. Yeah? You're a strange kid. Alright. I gotta get going. Okay. Friendship with the doll girl. Uh, you got to know the doll girl. Interacting with her will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of the gauge. Uh, yep. A red chestnut squirrel doll, huh? Can't have her standing out here all day, so if I grab one, maybe I'll give it to her. Okay, let's try it. Let's- Hey, hey, chat! Let's try it! 
Oh, cool. They got arcade games in here. The okay, red chestnut squirrel doll. Where is it? Not in this one. Not in this one either. Which one is that? Uh, change UFO catcher prizes. Okay, is it in there now? Oh wait, is is uh is that well no, those are two squirrels back there. Is it in this one? Is it the one with the red hat? Or the pink hat? It's in the back right here? Okay. Move the claw right. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Come on, work with me, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Wow, this is way better than real life. Okay, that's it. Hey kid, check this out. What? You still staring at that chestnut the squirrel doll? Yeah, give it to her. First try? Yeah, no, dude. First try. Very nice, first try. Wow, it's a red chestnut the squirrel. It's adorable. Yeah, well, it ain't exactly my thing, so why don't you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. I never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Best day ever. That's so. Well, glad you like it. Now, will you get home? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. Oh, man. Boy, the little scamp's a handful. But it feels kind of nice making her day like that. Oh, man, that was great. That was a cute little side story. I love that. I think this is the weapon shop, too. Yep, here it is. Thank you! We run out of eggs again! You were supposed to be out shopping! Oh, sorry. Uh, weapons customer uh, stopped by to complain, and I guess I got distracted. You guys seem busy. Want me to come back later? Oh, Majima. Uh, how are you? Uh, sorry you had to see that. <laughs> Hello, Majima. Anyway, back to eggs. <laughs> Best prices at Market Town next- uh, is at Market Next Town over. You're relentless. All right, I'll be back with them soon. Oh, while you're there, you can look for equipment for Majima, too. What? But I've never done Agent Gork. You want Feihu to do that? We told you about agents, like treasure hunters, but find equipment and parts. Feihu, uh, go find things for Majima, make lots of money. Is this, uh, is this work really such good money? What do you do exactly? We do, this is what we do, Majima. Oh, wow. Bats. Oh, wow. Complete in five minutes. Next time you choose an agent, uh, that you choose an agent and destination to search. Oh, and don't forget, you can pay a little extra too. <laughs> extra funds motivate agents, but go get better things and also come back soon. Uh -huh. A little tip to get them to work harder, eh? Makes sense. Okay, good Bye. luck. Make sure to lock the door while I'm out. Oops, I accidentally skipped that tutorial thing. Alright. Well, that's done. I guess we have to wait a little bit. Guess we can do some uh, more story segment stuff in the meantime. Oh my god, it's Mr. Shakedown! Do I have enough money? Or do, do I have enough, like, uh, food, you think? I'm gonna do it. Is there a save point? There's no save point nearby. Oh, there is! Move! I'm gonna save. 
I probably won't save scum, but I just, I feel like doing it. Okay. Mr. Shakedown! I probably, I probably won't save scum. I'm just letting you guys know. That's 10 million yen. Hey, what's up, dude? You want to fight? Let's go. Oh, shit. Thankfully, he missed me. Oh, oh dodge, Majima, dodge. Oh, shit, Majima. Get up, dude. Get up. No. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Oh, there goes all my money. Oh, uh, there goes all my money. Okay, well, if I see him again, I gotta immediately fight him. I was gonna try to heal, but he got me when I was down, so I couldn't- I couldn't heal. Wait, where am I going? Just like that, it's over. Never full combo against a shakedown. Well, now I know. Wait, hold on. Gotta go this way. He got all your money? Yeah, that's what Mr. Shakedown does. He shakes you down. He takes all your money away. I keep telling you we're sold out. Uh, but, but, please. Uh, there's gotta be a way. Look, you can wail all you want, but sold out is sold out. I can't magically pull one out from under the counter. Uh, please, I'm begging you. J just one. One's all I need. Okay, you're now you're just crazy. If you don't back off, I'll have to call the police. Oh, oh no. Treat like a Dark Souls boss. Hit him once or two times. Back away, repeat. Watch his movements. Okay. What am I gonna do? <laughs> What's eating that guy? Well, I can't help him because I have no money, probably. Okay, next time I see Mr. Shakedown, that's it. I know exactly what to do. Cool thing about Mr. Shakedown is the next time you see him, he'll have even more money if you previously lost to him. Welcome. How much would you like today? Uh, give me two hours. Thank you, sir. Please head down the hall. Okay, thank God I didn't need money for this. Whoops. He said Makoto Makimura is using college-age girls. Hope I can get lucky and find one. Hello? Oh, hi. Hey there. Hey, your voice is pretty damn cute. What are you up to? Now? Just lying around. I'm jealous. You got the day off? The baby finally went down for his nap. Now that I got my hands free, I just figured I'd call in. Housewife with a kid? That's off the mark. Guess it'd be too lucky to strike gold on the first call. Okay, this is gonna take a while. I like how Majima immediately hung up too. What is this? What is this? Like a omegle? It's like, hey, how's it going? Hangs up. Is somebody gonna be like slapping their tip on the camera? Okay, here we go. Ah, okay. College student. Class? We got a college student? Still don't know if she's connected to Makimura. Gotta keep digging here. Okay. We're cooking, we're cooking. 
That guy sounds like Milhouse's dad. Are you talking about Majima? <laughs> what? Dude, can you imagine? <laughs> Uh, my name is Goro Majima. And this is my son, Milhouse. <laughs> Milhouse, be nice to Bart. Don't tell him that I'm a part of the Yakuza. <laughs> a Simpson chat. I have to I have to go fight against the Yakuza. I'll be right back. Okay, what is a Hanya? She's interested in tattoos. She's no ordinary student. Might have some criminal connections. Okay. I'm running low on time here. Better make my move. Oh, bullseye. あ、こちゃん、牧村はんのことを何か知っとるんかぜやったら、超大手話聞かせてもらえへんやろうか。ああ、もちろん、俺はするで。ああ。大アッコちゃんにも、牧村はんにも迷惑かけへん。どうやろ
Oh, I just got the feeling like we're birds of a feather, that's all. Thought maybe we could trade tips. I don't want to do anything uh, with you that would involve tips. Ah. Yeah, about the cutest girls in town who, you know, uh, who is uh, good at what shop and that sort of thing. I'll pass, thanks. Uh, I ain't that thirsty. <sighs> yeah, that's a real shame. Still, there's way more hotties around lately, huh? If some of them put out videos, I'd be watching them for sure. What kind of videos are we talking about here? <laughs> You've been the private video booth spot, right? I'm talking about the soft cores they screen there. Ah. Every time I pass a cute girl on the street, I make no to check whether she's put a video out. God damn, you are one certifiable perv. Hey, I know you'd think the same thing if you saw one of those honeys. I'll tell you where I where to find some of my favorites. Go have a look. Maybe if I feel like it. I'm pretty much always in one of the soft spots in town. Come find me if you want any fresh recommendations. Why is this dude allowed to just be fucking naked? Why is that allowed? Who is this dude? Okay. What? What? Huh? That's my pager. Uh, okay. Dragon, tiger, and equipment. Something must have come in. Oh, okay. Gotta go get my equipment. Wait, where, where is this place anyway? Oh no, it's behind me. It's, uh, La Marque. No, no, it's not. That's not it. Wait, where, where, where is it? Is it, is it over here? Yeah, there it is. So I want to go all the way around so I can get my stuff. Dude, I got no money on me. Please leave me alone. Oh, they're gaining on me. It's him! Okay, I got it this time. Let's go. I want my money back, asshole. Okay, let's get a couple of hits in. And then dodge. Dodge! Ow! Majima, get up! Okay. Don't get greedy. Ow! No! Ow! <laughs> Dodge. Run. Okay. Okay, we're good. Ow! No, no, no! Ow! Dodge, dodge. Dodge, Majima, dodge! Eat food. Okay. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Oh, okay. Oh, he dodged. Okay. Move. Move, Majima. Majima, damn it, dude! Get up! <laughs> He's gonna stomp on you! Oh, God. Come on, come on, man. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh! Majima, Majima, get up, get up, get up. Get He's gonna kill you, man. He's gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, my God. Eat, eat, Papa, eat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dodge, dodge, man. Dodge! <gasps> Dodge, dodge, dodge! I mean, Majima, Majima, man, work with me. Work with me here, bud. The bat's doing the bat's doing a lot of the heavy lifting here, but you gotta kind of work with me, dude. Oh my God! No, no! Get up, Majima! Please! Oh my God! I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy. Move, Majima, move! I'm gonna change the thug style. Thug style. Engage. Okay. Move. 
Move! Majima, move! Okay. Wait for him to attack. Okay. Got it. No! Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, he dodged. Oh, no. He's powered up. What do I do? What do I, chat, chat, what do I do? What do I do? He's angry. Kick him. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! Ah! Oh, oh my god. Ow! No! Okay. Get up, Majima. Okay, back up, back up. Okay, wait for him to attack. Yes! Fake them out! Yes! Yes! You got this, Majima. Yes! 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 Yeah! 14 million yen! Yeah, get out, get out of here, chump. I'm Goro Majima, real. I'm done for today. I couldn't get my money, so there's no point in hanging around here. Yeah, get out of here! Idiot. Nice. Okay, I got two achievements, too. I completed uh, ten, uh, 10 side stories, and I did beat Mr. Shakedown. Here, while, while I'm at it, Time to invest in myself. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Upgrading my health, I feel like, is the most important thing I can do right now. Okay, so... There it is. There's the shop. Oh, here's the girl from the other day. You back, kiddo? I told you it's dangerous to hang around here alone. Hey, sir. How about you drop the whole sir thing, huh? Now, what's got you hanging around here now? Come on now, speak up when somebody asks you a question. I'm looking at the blue chestnut squirrel doll. Oh, I can get that. Yeah, hold on, hold on, bud. I'll get that for you. I'm gonna go sicko mode on this. Okay, blue chestnut squirrel. I assume it's that one. All right. Ah, that sucked. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. I think I got it this time. I have to, right? Aha! There we go. Second try is the charm. Alright. Time to give it to the girl. Hey girl, check it out. I got another thing for you. There you go. I hope that she's grateful. I get left out whenever that happens, but now I'll have something to talk about. I wouldn't really know, but uh, don't daddies buy things for kids? I suppose it depends, but that's a dad thing, yeah. I knew it! So if I did have a daddy, he'd be kind of like you, right? Huh? How you figure? Because you gave me two dolls. Er, I did, but... See? And you look old enough to be my daddy, so you're just like a daddy to me. How old does this kid think I am? I wish you could be my real daddy, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you know that's not gonna happen, right? 
Well, can I just call you daddy then? Say what? Oh, you don't want me to. My choices are sir or daddy, huh? Ain't too fond of either, but what's the right play here? Uh, it's just on Majima, son. Uh, she can, she can call, she can call Majima daddy. Everybody else already does. Call me whatever you want, I don't care. Got some mixed feelings there, kiddo, but you best get back to your mom. That's just, it's too cute to not let her call, call Majima dad, you know? It's too cute not to just, you know, let her do whatever she wants. Love, love me the fan, love me the found family trope. We got equipment search results. All right. Okay. Twins are clones. Negotiation partner. What is this? Success. Mission went reasonably well. Okay. Equipment search results. Here you can receive the equipment, items, recipes, parts, or assets found by your agent. Equipment is immediately ready to use. Recipes enable you to craft equipment, provided that you have all the necessary parts and enough money to pay the fee. Crafting and buying equipment. If the name of an item is not shown in the crafting menu, it means that you have not yet discovered the parts or equipment required to make it. Dispatch agents to various locations and obtain many different types of parts. Once you obtain a new piece of equipment, it can also become available for purchase in the shop. Crafting it will be uh, it will be cheaper than buying. Mm. Equipment parts. Got it. Okay. Yeah, as you can imagine, the more, more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get it. Makes sense. In most quest, in most uh, cases, uh, the agents can bring back recipes with information on how to create a replica. I can then recreate it in my item workshop. Uh, but you need parts for that, so get the parts. We have some lucky ones uh, here. You can have them for free. Uh, you lucky man. Got the lead ingots. Got the quiet quality iron. Got the iron gears. I have some of these already. Driftwood. Cursed handcuffs. Flintstone, uh, they're giving me a lot. You can find regular shops too. Look around so Sofukucho. You can bring parts, we can make equipment. You bring money too, otherwise we know eat. I can craft or sell any uh, amount of equipment. Ready, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got it. I sent agents off to find recipes and parts for, for you to make uh, me awesome weapons and protective gear. Sounds good. Gotta start saving up so I can afford all that. Oh, no eggs. He didn't pick up the eggs. Silly, silly guy. Damn, this PowerPoint slideshow is fire. <laughs> yeah. Wonder how Fei Lang and Long Hua are doing. I'll drop in to see him later. Okay. I think I'm actually probably going to call it here because... I did a little bit more than I thought I was going to be doing. And I really, I really have to go to the bathroom and it's almost been four hours. So I think I'm good. Anyway. Ooh. Sorry, I can't get over that one chat member say. <laughs> I, I'm sure that they didn't mean Majima. But I can't get over Majima uh, being the person who is Milhouse's dad. Millhouse, play nice with the other boys. To be a true, to be a true, uh, a gentleman in the cabaret is to be nice. What about training? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'll do it next stream if I remember, but I'm a little bit tired because it's already been like four hours. So, yeah. I'm gonna hop off for today. Uh, I'll let y'all know when the next stream is. Uh, you can look out for it. I'll probably schedule it later today, but... No promises. Uh, I got some editing work I got to do for February, so yeah. See you guys later. Peace out. Peace.